So I think we play King E7 live, because then we take the queen with check. So we're basically giving ourselves two moves. So just you move the they what they need to move. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I'll we bring their king forward. forward, so we're basically buying two moves. So let's do that. So you guys have to play King E7, and then I'm gonna. Okay. And then I'm gonna All give right, we'll you your time back. Seven. Daniel, play King E7. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you, now you, I you give guys, you, back. you guys missed Maiden one though. Did we? You could have made us. You could have made us play Queen D8, <gasps> Queen F7. Bam! Oh my gosh! I literally almost nice. fell over. Oh we, no! I still And the, the moment that everyone's been waiting for this weekend that um, we didn't know we were going to be waiting for, but now we're all on the edge of our seat to find out not only who takes home the My Poker Chess Game Challenge, uh, but also who's going to be better at, at chess once the, the gloves come off here between poker superstars Daniel Negreanu and Liv Barry. With me here, of course, you can see all four. All four of uh, us in the call and Team Liv and Danny for the win. Liv, am I, I speak for both of us when I say that, right? We're, we're here to win today. Oh, is there anything other than that that we could be focusing on? Yep. I, I'm so excited. I'm going to crush you guys. We are. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to not disappoint and embarrass Jed. <laughs> <laughs> we got this, Danny. Well, the... <laughs> The, the the action has already started. We've been here on the call for an hour, and they, they played a prep game, so we won't get in. We, I, won't, I don't want to talk about what happened in that game, but I know that we are going to be playing a series of best-of-five games here, hand-and-brain style. Me and Liv Barry here, directly next to me, along with uh, Jen Shahadi and Daniel Negreanu. So if you're just tuning in or had no idea what you were going to be doing this Sunday afternoon, now you know. Quickly, we're also going to talk about the fact that Jen is here to announce what she has called one of the one of the things she's had the best time ever doing as far as something that involved both poker and chess. Jen, if you want to talk a little bit about our finalists who made it to the uh, the top five slash six here uh, and uh, ultimately what we're going to be doing today as we build toward a winner of the $30,000 cash prize to one of the biggest events in poker. That's right, Danny. You know, I've done so many projects involving chess and poker, but this has been my absolute favorite, the My Chess Poker Game Challenge, where we're offering a $30,000 pass to the Poker Stars Players Championships in the Bahamas next year um, to the person who came up with the best game or variant that involved chess and chance or chess and poker. And I was really blown away by the submissions. We had almost 70 people submit. Um, we got it down to six finalists. And, you know, thanks to the three of you for being amongst the judges. Um, and today we're going to actually count it down from six to five to four to three to um, our runner up and our winner who's going to go to the Bahamas and play for millions. Now, I don't want to ask Daniel and Liv who they voted for just yet. I think we'll do that as we as we go through each finalist and reveal uh, what their final ranking was. But uh, Daniel and Liv, how, how did you... How did you feel getting involved in this project? Obviously, you're both chess enthusiasts, but poker pros. Uh, what was your favorite part about about being involved in this? I'll, I'll start with you, my my teammate here, Liv. Um, I mean, my favorite part was obviously just like watching the videos and trying to sort of think about um, the, I guess, sort of the amount of work that has gone into each of the submissions. Um, the hardest part was actually choosing because honestly, all six of the ones that you sent me, Jen, were just unbelievably they were so unbelievably creative and extremely close 
Um, so it took me a really, really long time to decide um, who, who to vote for. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to try and play. I just want to try all of the games. I hope they all become available online to play. Yeah, for me, I mean, I think it's really important. Like, as you guys obviously know that play chess or into chess, if you're playing against somebody way better than you, you just never win, right? Like in poker, you could play against somebody who's much better than you and still have a chance to win occasionally. And I think that's kind of fun and bridges the gap a little bit. And there were some unique formats for sure. And there was a couple that really spoke to me and I really got it. I'm like, ooh, that could create some really good gambling games. And, you know, not all of them did. Some of them were very complex. And I was like, wait a minute, I feel like I need to study like a manuscript to get this, but others were quite simple, but they're all unique. And I think like offer um, a lot to the different types. Like I'm new to chess, I'm beginner. So some of the more intricate ones, I was like, wait a minute, but um, the simpler ones spoke to me more. And I was like, okay, that's fun. <laughs> well, go ahead, Jen. Yeah, I just, uh, I really think that for me picking a finalist, there was something amazing about each game. And I would have been happy with any of the six to become a platinum pass winner. And I, I just really, I really love to see the passion that people from both communities put into it. And it really d dovetails with what we're doing today. We are playing a chess variant, That's right. hand and brain, which I think actually does uh, give some advantage to poker players. So I think we're going to be seeing, you know, Daniel and Liv play some, you know, pretty strong, strong moves considering um, that they're just getting more passionate about chess lately because they're going to read us, Daniel, and try to figure out what we're trying to tell them with just a piece. Yep. Well, and obviously we're going to get into each one of those videos here. For those of you who maybe haven't been following the hashtag as closely as you should have been, I will remind you that, of course, if you look up the My Chess Poker Game hashtag on Twitter, you're going to see a long history of what this event has been all about. And uh, as I'll steal a little bit of Jen's thunder here and say that all the videos that Liv and Daniel just described, we're not joking when we say it was tough. Every one of the six finalists actually got at least one first place vote from one of the four judges you see here uh, in the uh, in the show today. So it was close. It's going to be a ton of fun revealing it. But right now, I think everybody is tired of the talk and, and it's time for the chess. Liv and I are ready to bring it. Um, you guys didn't know we're, we're super prepared for this. So this is just going to be this is going to be really fast talk. I'm going to give my team the go ahead to start the game. And um, Daniel, I think you're starting with white. So there you go. The time control is 10 minutes plus a five second increment. So go ahead, Jen, whenever you're ready. And the clock's ticking, so pawn. Okay. All right, pawn. Knight. Couldn't have played it better myself. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Woo. All right, knight. This is so stressful. Bishop. <laughs> Bishop, okay, we're gonna go. So Next. far, this, this is like two Jedis, Liv. I mean, we are just right, we're right there, so you're doing That's great. All right, I'm gonna say pawn. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> I would so, not have done that. I jinxed us with the Jedi okay. comment. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, okay. Oh, oh. It's yeah. King. We're, we're doing King? fine. Yeah. yeah. I guess I know what you mean then. For, for <laughs> reminder, for those of you, a quick you reminder that? for those of you who may be watching us at twitch.tv slash poker stars this is a, a variant where the i am not allowed to say anything but the piece just as jen is so it's it's all on daniel and live after we say the piece so now i'm going to say bishop Knight. Knight? You don't like where I moved it to, do you? No, I loved it, actually. I was a little more nervous. The nice thing yeah. is after each game, we're going to do a quick analysis. I was more nervous about a different approach from them. So I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm going to say knight. Trash talking already. I'm trash talking just a little bit. Just letting Jen know I, I don't think she took the most aggressive approach. So. Hey, I, I have a strategy. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, nice move. Bishop. Bishop. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bishop. <laughs> what the heck do you see, Jen? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, Bishop. Okay. So it's going to be that Bishop, clearly. And we're going to move it to... I see. I, see what doing. I think. This is... 
even know where to go from here. Um, I want to ask Liv for advice, but I know it's supposed to go the other way, so I'm supposed to give her advice. All right. Uh, I'm going to say night again. Night again. Are we being aggro, or are we going to start getting... Get out of that question! I know. I want to give the answer, but I can't. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I mean, I know what I'd do, so I'm going to just do that. Okay. Okay, queen. Yeah, buddy. That's an easy game. All right, now, now I'm going to say night. Okay. Third time's the charm. <laughs> no, okay. All he moves Shit. is night, nice, this guy. Um, Don't do it, Jen. Don't do it. Bishop. Bishop. Okay, Bishop. You want to go there? I don't know. Let's try that. Okay. Yes. All right, King. <laughs> yes. Liv, Liv knows. Liv knows the move we were worried about. All right, good. That's okay. We we got this. Playing, you're playing perfect. Uh, hmm. Let's go pawn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's free up this uh, bishop over here. Give us a little room okay. to breathe. Let's see. I think we're. I think. Feeling good about a few different things we can do, so I'm gonna. I'll say pawn, and you can you can choose your flavor. We're like Baskin Robbins here of chess today. Any flavor you want. Do they have Baskin Robbins in London, Liv? Uh, they do not. Uh. No. Um, uh, I'm gonna do. All right, I like it. Bishop. Bishop, you mean, okay, Bishop, again, Bishop. Always Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. <laughs> this Bishop, I told you ever says. <laughs> um, I don't know, man, I don't know, but I'm gonna just, can't be that bad. All right. Okay, King. Yep. Okay, let's do bishop again. <laughs> it's all, that's all she ever says. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I can't say anything. I can't say anything. Bishop again, huh? So we don't want to go there or there. That's silly. Nothing there goes. So why are we all so nervous right now? Can you guys feel it? Can you feel it's the, the first tension? Time. I'm like so nervous. Woo! I don't even know why. Right. All right. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. Okay. I would have never done Woo. that. <laughs> I would have never done that. All right. I'm, I'm also going to say bishop. Yeah. Go. Pawn. Pawn? <laughs> Daniel doesn't like doubling his pawns, Jen. <laughs> yeah, you can see that. Right? <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to say bishop. Have one of those. Well, there's only one place to move it to, right? Yeah. Right. Safety third, we always say. Is that a poker player's thing, safety third? <laughs> no, it's a Burning Man thing. Yeah. I don't know. That, that's the phrase you use at Burning Man because everyone's always about to die at any given moment. <laughs> uh, Rook. Rook. Okay. I'm going to just assume that you want to go over here. Okay. Well, I'm going to say Bishop again. Just hoping for a goal here of, of a new home. Yeah. He's leading the witness. Your I, Honor. I, that hey, wasn't, I was just hey. talking out loud to the universe here. <laughs> it sounds like you weren't happy with what I did before, but no, no, uh, I, I don't think you no. had any other choice. I think you did the right thing. No, okay, I don't really have any other choice in this, right? So, am I missing something? I can't say anything because Daniel got oh, mad. Oh so. no, no, no! I know what you wanted. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> okay, let's do queen. 
Let's do Queen, huh? Okay, give me a moment then. To make sure I don't <laughs> put it in the middle of the nowhere and just lose the game automatically. Um, <laughs> that's bad. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go. I don't know that we have. Hmm. Queen, right? She said Queen. Queen. Let's, queen, right? Let's go line it up against the King thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Great move. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Queen as well. If... Oh boy, this game is so good. No mistakes yet. No, oh, no, this is some quality stuff here. The fans are on. Oh, the I hope you guys seat. are not just being patronizing. <laughs> no. no, it's not. <laughs> no, uh, I was, I was. <laughs> That's oh, well. Good. I love it. Okay, let's see. Um, I just want to point out, me and Liv have a small time advantage right now. Don't let okay, that in your okay. head. Don't let that get in your head, but just let it sink in. Pawn. Pawn, right? I just feel like breaking stuff up. So, come on. All right, I'm going to say Rook. Oh, no. Rook? Rook. Ugh. Okay, well... Like, I'm in a spot now I don't know that I've ever been in in all the chess games I've ever played. <laughs> There's actually a surprising amount of poker involved right now, because every time I do a move, I then look to see Danny's reaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, read, the, read the face. By all means, be more of a telebox, Danny. I, I will. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try. But if I go, t can I do this? Yes and, okay. yes and no. Is that is that legal, Daniel? No. No, I know. Okay, um, let's do pawn. Do a pawn again. You and your pawns, Jen. <laughs> I have a couple options here, and I don't know which one to do. But You have a lot of options. I know. I'm going to do something maybe you're not going to like, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, bishop. Like that. Yeah. Queen. Yeah. Queen? Yes. Oh, because, yeah, we have to move. She said queen like, queen! <laughs> like, don't forget. <laughs> Pay attention. Right. I'm going to move my... I don't want to get captured, so we're going to move right here. There we go. <laughs> Love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. oh, you said it with such fear. All right, Liv, here we go. On. Wow, I thought I lost the audio for a sec. Are you guys chatting secretly, Daniel and Jim? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, Bishop. Okay, pawn. Do you use the force? <laughs> use yeah. the hey! use the force. <laughs> I know what that means. All right, we're just a little behind on time. I'm, I'm feeling about... good. Oh, night, night. Night? Yeah. Hey, Bishop. <gasps> oh, no! Ah! Damn it. That's okay, we'll get, we'll, we'll get She's just anywhere. trusting her instincts. That's all we'll she's do... doing. Uh... Hmm. Bishop. Queen. Queen. Queen? Queen, okay, I hear you. I just have to figure out what the hell you want. <laughs> uh, queen, huh? Okay, let's go back to where we were. I don't know, it seems like a comfy spot. All right, queen for us. Rook. Rook? Hmm. Put 
checked, I guess. Okay. Let's go night. Pawn. Ooh, with, 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 uh... With gusto. Pawn with, like, a pawn. That was pawn. <laughs> no, good pawn. We're doing slow yeah. down. All right. Okay. Hey, we got it. <laughs> Figure. Put I'm... your head on the clock. I love All it. Right. Love it. Okay, pawn. Rook. Queen. Rook. Okay, Queen. Yes. Sorry. I just wanted to say, because she had lots of choices. That's all. I just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, didn't even... I have my eyes on a certain, certain square. A certain square. Rock. Now it's getting spicy. Right. Stop eating my shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, 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 queen. Chess chat says you both seem pretty expressive for poker players. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been, even as a poker player. This is what we do when we're under stress. Yep. Rook. I'm doing rook? Yeah. Right. Well, we've only got queen, rooks, and pawns left, so. Yeah, I guess so. And just, you know, you have 20 minutes down. Just no pressure, Daniel. Tick tock. Hey. TikTok. We have plenty of time. Oh, okay. Now we're, we're in business. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna say queen. Ready? She's like, what? <laughs> Rook. Queen. Okay. Obviously, Queen. I don't know why it took so long. I was, I was thinking <laughs> yeah. about the, I was thinking about the exact move instead of the piece. Sorry. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's I not my I, job. My job is just think of the piece. So many good moves. Hmm. Um. Let's do pawn. Let's do pawn. Okay. All right, so get some involvement here. So I'm going to say pawn. Mm. Rook. Rook, huh? Rook. Oh boy. Okay, Queen. You seemed happy. You smiled, but I don't know. <laughs> I have enough data points on you yet on whether that's a good smile or not. <laughs> uh, rook. Rook, huh? Okay. On. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Pawn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say rook. Really? <laughs> I, well, I I almost didn't, but now I changed my mind. I know you're right. Actually, I blundered. You're right. See, I told you uh, I needed uh, advice from you. I should have played something else, but I said rook. So go with rook. So I have to go with rook. You gotta go with rook. Mm -hmm. I, I blundered. I'm sorry. Team game. I oh. think we're gonna be okay. But you're right. Queen uh, Queen was better. You're right. Let me know when you want some chess lessons. All right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, um, rook. Rook. Mm-hmm. Rook. I was I was focused on the on the king side, and I just you're right, Liv. Totally missed that. I don't get it. I don't get it. Rook. Um, all right. Let's go this rook. All right. Queen. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Oh. I, I could I could see it on your face when you saw it. <laughs> Oh, oh man! <laughs> well, remind everybody. Nice, uh, good game, good game, Liz. Good game. All, all. Uh, well played. Yeah, that was. I think. I think you guys were were definitely better there out of the opening. I mean, obviously, if we went back to, um, but Liv, Liv played aggressively. Anytime I I said a pawn move that I thought was going to be kind of passive, she played things like b five and then b four and attack. I loved it. It was awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, her only bad move was in the really early stage of the game with f six. Uh, yeah. Usually you don't want to f6 when you move your pawn that would kind of prevented you from castling if we got a bishop on that diagonal on move three. Right. Oh, Hang on, I'm, I'm going go. back. Yeah. My thing say where the, the letters are. I don't know the... Yeah, right there. You got it. You got it. That that moves pretty bad because if, if, if Daniel right. and I can get a bishop to the a2 g8 diagonal, it's going to be hard for you to castle and okay. your game's going to be really tough to play. You're speaking Latin at me right now. Um, can, um, can you see the um, can you see the the, arrow? the channel on? Maybe, maybe you can see the channel at Twitch. And then oh can, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, if I look at Twitch. So I was highlighting so it on there for you. So yeah, on Twitch Twitch TV slash chats, you can see. And thanks for everybody um, for tuning in. I think I see Alexandra Botas, Anna Chess, Alexandra being one of our six finalists. I, I see a lot of people tuning in. Eric Rosen, shout out. Can you, can um, yes. you see the board on Twitch, Liv? Yes. So, so where where the oh, I see where I moved yeah. the pawn. Yeah, on the king side, that was bad. And that's yeah. Th this is and, and, and there's several things you can do against this. Even though it's not necessarily the best gen, I thought you were going to go for the line where you take and take on e5 just to get a big attack, mm -hmm. because one then you, then you get this whole queen h5 thing, right? And now I'm in big trouble from a practical perspective, right? From a blitz perspective. Yeah, but I don't think that if I said bishop and then knight, I I, I didn't I didn't have a read that yeah. he'd be able to figure this all out because well, it's kind on of this, advanced. On the same note, Daniel, um, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if you can see the, the stream on, on chess. Yeah, now, yeah. So on move eight, when uh, Jen said bishop, she was definitely hoping for the move bishop c4. And Liv and I were... We were nervous, right? I know you saw the move, right? Liv, bishop c4 would have stopped us from getting castled. And, and Yeah, that's what I, I knew as soon as I did it, actually. I realized yeah. it right away. But so, late. you know, it's, it's and it, when I said pawn, Liv, and it depends, I mean, obviously, if we were doing real real chess lessons, we could dive into a, an educational stream right now. But, I mean, there's a number of moves to play here. But uh, both a6 is one move because white can't actually take uh, the bishop... Uh, the bishop with the knight and then the knight with the pawn because there's all kinds of tricks that black has uh, where black gets to win the pawn back. For example, this move queen g5 with a fork. Um, mm -hmm. So it's if you don't know the line, it's kind of hard. So when I said pawn, you played a move that felt natural to to protect the e5 pawn. But this is uh, it's, it's a good thing because in a lot of e4 openings, these are the kind of moves you want to avoid. Anything that opens up diagonals towards your king. But then towards the end of the game, you basically played perfectly, yeah. which in was... fact you played better than me. I mean, if we go to the end of the game yeah. and you played, um, and you were frustrated with my rook takes d4 because I was I was already thinking about mate and rook d1, and I wasn't thinking about anything else. And then as soon as I said rook, I realized why you were mad at me because you could have taken with the queen, and that would have been better. So, you know, I, and I, for those, I'm not I'm not that good at chess. I don't know what your expectations were, Liv, but you, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. right. <laughs> 
So. <laughs> but how many chess games do you think you've played in your life? Me and my, I don't know. Um, including online games, it's got to be in the. Uh, I mean, tens and tens of thousands. I mean, I would think. Right. So. Like over a hundred thousand. Or sort of... Um, that's a good question, because I thought that that was the case. Somebody asked me this like a year ago on a chess stream, and I thought it was the case, and I looked up, and it, and it really wasn't. I think that it takes a very special person to have played 100,000. There's a guy named GM Joey on our site. I think Hikaru Nakamura has probably played more online chess games than any top, like, Grandmaster. Um, he kind of lives online. Uh, but I'll ask you the same thing. So, for our chess fans here, Liv, how did you learn how to play, and, and who taught you, and what got you interested in the game? Um, I, I learned to play, my dad taught me when I was like seven or eight, I guess. Um, and we probably played, I don't know, 20 games lifetime when I was that age. Um, and then I didn't play at all until like a year and a half ago when I down I, I can't remember even why I did. I think it, it was like two years ago or something, Jen. I think we, we got talking. Um, yeah, at the New Jersey festival, there was like that chess simul. Yeah, that's right. And I just really, really enjoyed it. And like, like we played it where you were just playing against all of us, and it was so incredible to watch. And I was like, I really want to get into this game more. And so I saw, I just like opened a chess.com account, and then now I've gotten to the point where I just played Blitz, and I'm completely addicted. And I, I have this weird stubborn thing going on where I refuse to learn any like proper strategy. Like I don't know any of the names of any of the openings and so on, but I've just played so many blitz games that it's starting to get like this sort of intuitive feel, but I'm still diabolical. I'm still really, really bad, but I really love it. I can see you're anxious over there for, for revenge, Daniel, but we got to ask you the same thing. How did you learn how to play before we get our next game on? And, and uh, what got you interested in the game to the point where now people follow you on Twitter and, and your vlogs, you, you seem to be playing a lot on chess.com. Yeah, so very different for me. I'm unique in that, like, no, nobody in my family played chess whatsoever. I never played it as a kid. Didn't know anything about it, really. And then uh, I remember it was, like, during a poker tournament, I saw Dan Smith and the guys were playing speed chess, and I was kind of watching, and I'm like, I have no idea what's happening here. Right. And I kind of wanted to learn, so I opened up a chess.com account. I think it was around April. I don't know. You can check when I – somewhere in that neighborhood. And then April, I just started playing, and, uh, you know – Within the site, they've got like uh, Alan Cunningham's a friend of mine. He told me to do some like tactics training. He said that's worthwhile. And that's definitely like the tactics training helped me because like whenever I was, all I did was try to get material. And if I'm ahead of material, I can win. If I was behind a material, the game is over. But it really, it was just, there was no way I could win. Now with the tactics training, I'm starting to see a little bit more stuff. And I enjoy starting from scratch with things, much like Liv said, where not having a coach or a teacher, just kind of figure it out on my own. Right. And uh, every time you have an epiphany where you learn something new, it's like, whoa, this is so cool. And, uh, you know, the goal is to get to like a 1200 rating and uh, I don't know, go from there. Awesome. Danny, I also noticed that, Daniel, sorry, <laughs> I know I, there's a Danny and a Daniel, so I'm trying to keep it straight. But I noticed that in April, when you started, when you said that you um, opened up your chess.com account, you also um, released uh, or started working on your master class. Um, in poker, and Gary Kasparov has a master class in chess. Um, did you, was that was there anything about that synchronicity? Did you check that out at all? So actually, you know what? You brought up the real. That was actually it. Now I, I totally forgot. So like, I knew I was going to do a master class, right? So before I was going to create create my master class, I kind of wanted to get a feel of what they look like. So I was like, okay, well, let me watch Kasparov's because it's probably the closest related to what I'm going to be doing. And then I started watching it, and I started really enjoying it. And then he taught me what a fork was and a skewer. And I'm like, whoa, this is so cool. I got to try it. And uh, so through that, I, I actually did Kasparov's class. And uh, that kind of, that's like the only learning I've ever really done on the game. Well, I know we have about almost 5,000 of you with us. Thanks to all of you, whether you're tuning in via chess.com TV, Twitch TV slash chess, Twitch TV slash poker stars, or wherever you are in the world. We, we're going to get to our second game uh, here in just a moment, but I think it's time for our first big reveal. I wouldn't be surprised if we have all six of our finalists here eagerly awaiting um jen would you like to do the honors or or you want me to i i, I now i'm really nervous because we're about to both break somebody's heart i mean obviously everyone's honored to be in the situation they were i would think but we're about to really get down to business here which is by the end of this two-hour show everybody if you don't know somebody's getting thirty thousand dollars cash and um i mean that sounds good so. Well, not necessarily cash, but a $25,000 yeah. tournament plus yeah. an all expenses trip to the Bahamas. Right. Uh, plus chess or poker lessons with me, depending on which game you need more work in. 
And yeah, it's, it's a fantastic uh, package. And uh, one one of these players is going to get a platinum pass thanks to Poker Stars and this initiative. But I, I do want to soften the blow and say that every single person got a lot of points in these six finalists. It was so incredibly close. Everybody got at least one first place vote or two second place votes. So right. that can't get any tighter in this type of competition. And uh, th that said, our, our fifth place finisher, um, Christoph Stamet, um, congratulations. You, you really created a great game. Uh, I'm sorry you didn't win. I'm sorry we couldn't give out six passes, but I really loved, uh, I, I, you're pulling up the graphic, yeah. What I loved about Christoph's game was that it was so um, brilliantly designed it had a lot of balance. You could see he put a lot of effort into making sure that the betting mechanism and the chess mechanism both kind of work together. Yeah. And uh, I obviously watched all the games closely. Daniel and Liv, if you have any thoughts on it, I really like the Pawn Wars aspect. Any any chess professional or chess coach probably knows what I'm talking about when I say Pawn Wars, that it's a, it's a mini game you teach kids to, to help them understand just the concepts of the pawns and structure. You, you create a race game where the pawns are just trying to get the other side of the board, and inherently they'll learn about the right and proper ways to, to place their pawns, both both with each other to work together while they move up, and also in facing opponents' pawns. You learn the very basics of pawn structure and pawn weaknesses. So I just kind of love that. Um, again, uh, Daniel and Liv, obviously you, you saw and voted as well. What were your thoughts on this game? This was my favorite game. This is the one I voted as number one. I thought it was. So you're really, just you're, you're disappointed right now. Daniel and Liv, by I'm the way, do not know. Daniel and Liv do not know who won. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm um, I'm quite surprised this this got fifth place. I, I thought it was absolutely amazing, and I really really want to get a copy of it to play because I think it's it, it seems, uh, it was like the most sort of original format out of the six I saw, um, and um, yeah, I, I it. It, it sort of combines another game which I love called Corridor, which I'm sure a lot of the um, the players here know. Um, and I, I liked the sort of the idea of like the it combined the betting, like actual physical betting with chips, and then um, yeah, sort of like a new form of strategy, I guess, the, involving chess. Um, and it seemed like it was just really like deeply thought out and probably very well balanced because I think balance is a really hard thing to create in a game like this. Um, and it seemed it, it, it seemed likely that this would be a very well balanced game. Um, so yeah, I, I was super impressed. Yeah, I played the game myself against a, a game designer and a poker player. You might know his name, uh, Will Ma, a really brilliant guy, and he was one of the creators of this game called Prismata that uh, Timex was behind, Aweiss was behind, and um, he thought it was brilliant and very elegant was the word that he used and. I think when you talk about elegance, you think about chess. So, um, GG. Yeah, my favorite part about, about this game was like the betting aspects, like in terms of like sort of the blind bet of where you're going to put all your chips and stuff. But as far as like the game or whatever, like I never played the game that Danny was talking about, which is just the pawn press thing or whatever. Right. Um, but so like, yeah, it, 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 like I was trying to like, you know, think of how it applied to chess in itself. And I didn't have that foundation of, of, of playing that game originally. So that wasn't my top pick. But uh, sorry, Liv. It's okay. <laughs> well, um, all right. I think I think we're ready to jump into our next chess game. You now have it. Our first reveal of who our fifth place finisher was. Uh, that's a that's a little bit of a foreshadowing. People might be wondering. Wait, is it five or six? And what's going to happen as we move forward? Well, stay on the edge of your seat and don't go anywhere. Uh, of course, you can get involved using the hashtag #MyPokerChessGamers. My chess poker game. I'm sorry. My chess poker game. That's right. My chess my poker chess game poker on Twitter. Game. Um, but let's get going. Remember, everybody, if you are a subscriber, you can let it be known who you're rooting for. Team Daniel, Team Liv. Uh, shout out those emotes in the chat. But okay, Liv and I are now white. And Liv, I'm going to say pawn. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Oh, there we go. Queen pawn mixing it up. This is not Daniel's favorite chess, so he's nervous already. Let's do pawn. I'm sorry, I'm tweeting. I'm also tweeting out a congrats to Chris, but here we go. Okay, why is my thing frozen or something? Uh-oh. Are you on the other? Uh -oh. I don't know. Oh, here we go. It's going to alter. Here we go. It got it. It was just, I don't know. It was All right. Cool. No. We got it. 15 seconds burn. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm letting my time go by accident. Accident. Dr. Evil Fingers. All right. Now we're back to even. Okay. I'll say night. Are, are you a Queen's Pawn player by, by trade, Liv? Night. I 
don't know what you're saying. You, you, uh, moved, you, moved, you, moved your, you moved your queen pawn first, the D pawn. So we call that the queen's pawn. Oh, um, I, I like 50-50 it. Okay. I flip a coin. Oh, oh nice. All right, so I'm going to say bishop now. Uh, bishop, sorry. Um, uh, I do this a lot when I play Blitz, but it's... Knight. I'm oh, sorry, Liv, what were you saying? No, I was just saying I, I move my bishop there a lot when I play Blitz, but I don't know if it's good. It looks like a wonderful move to me. But we're going to crush you. Despite yeah. that wonderful move. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. pawn. Sorry, I was... I was uh, let's do bishop ourselves. I was using our emote to chat, Liv. Just, you know, getting our team spirit going. That's all. Sorry. Got yeah, I'm back to see your, priority, your priorities. Are, all right. uh, I'm, ba I'm back. Just, um, all right, uh -huh. bishop. No, I'm kidding. I, just, I, was, I was doing that just Your for fun. I wanted to give you the... This is the reverse bluff. This is like... <laughs> oh my god, I just looked at the chat for one second and someone said, live basically Magnus Barry. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, good move. Thank you. He's a monster. <laughs> Let's do Bishop. Do Bishop, huh? You know, I'm, I'm going to do something I wouldn't normally do, or should I, or shouldn't I? Um, Follow your heart, Daniel. Follow your heart. I'm gonna go here then. Okay, I'm going to say knight. Sorry, I got to do it one more time, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do it one more time, Bishop. Oh, hey, you no, no, here. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no meta, meta hints, excuse me. Oh, wait, me. that wasn't it. All no, right. I just, I said Bishop three times in a row. I, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm fishing out here. Now I'm, now I'm going to say night. Seems almost a little too aggressive. Queen. King. Pawn. Okay, Bishop. Pawn. Hmm. Now that I know you're trying to read my face, I'm like nervous after every move how I'm gonna look as <laughs> you like peek over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not as nervous as I am. All right. Okay. Knight. They're doing great. It was me who messed up last game. That point where I said pawn and he played d5, I should have said something different. Um, bishop. She said bishop fast. Whoa, ho, ho. like, yeah, bishop. Let's yeah. go, bishop. <laughs> All right. Okay, knight again. I don't know why I added again, but it's a knight again, knight. This way. King. Ooh, which side are you going to go? Oh, Thank God. He, he was, <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't like the other way. He was confident <laughs> about that. All right, nice. Yeah, nice move, Daniel. Nice. <laughs> Very nicely done. Okay. Did you say anything? Night. night. He said night, yeah. Night. Um, I kind of wanted to pawn. Let's 
let's go for bishop. Okay. I only have one. Yeah, you just got a one bishop. So, risky. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, now we have options, but I like the move knight. Hmm. Wow. I see what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> Come on, heavy. I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting pieces. Magnus Barre right. over here. Magnus Barre. Yeah, exactly. Knight. Knight. Yeah. Which way? You want me to take it? And he brings his queen out there. That's game over. Kinda. Walks that over there. I don't know. I'm, I just feel like taking that's not what you want me to do. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the hell was that? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. That, that was... Okay. Okay, pawn. I know. <laughs> Oh. Liv leaves me with no doubt how she feels about my moves when I suggest it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Okay. Oh, yeah! I, I would have done a different part. <sighs> okay. Is that bad? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. But, but we'll talk about it afterwards. Everything's okay right now. Yeah. So what am I doing? Oh, um, I see. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking for a second because I wasn't expecting that, Daniel. Yeah, me neither. So I'm feeling good, better. I'm feeling a relief. Oh shush. <laughs> <laughs> let's do. Uh, let's do queen. Really? Okay. Um... Oh, I don't see a move. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just a little lag. Okay. I mean, I understand what you want me to do now, if you want me to still do that, but that might be bad. Um. Hmm. Yeah, pawn. <laughs> yeah, pawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's not point. it's not exactly the same as it would be before, but um but, yeah. I still, still I, really interesting. Yeah. Um let's do bishop. Ooh. Bishop. Okay. Ooh, this could be this could get really interesting here. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting game, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, and this is gonna be a super tough decision to say, but I'm gonna say pawn. And I know there's a whole bunch of <laughs> options. There's a whole bunch of options, but pawn. Hmm. Knight. Yeah. Now the question is, where does he want this? Not there, not there. Um, we could probably put it back over here. <sighs> yeah, now that we got the queen back here. Hit knight. Queen. Okay, now pawn. Um, let's do night. This could be a close game. Some good chess <laughs> by both of you right here. Yeah, you okay. guys are playing great. Okay, queen. Hmm. <laughs> 
it's fun when they say something and you go, what? <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. What queen? Why? Why? <laughs> Why would you say that piece? <laughs> oh. Pawn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Good you. one. Like you. <laughs> Brooke. Rook. We're doing great, Liv. We got time. We got a lot of things to think about. But we're doing great. I'm trying to think which file it goes better on. That's a loaded statement. I'm not going <laughs> to on this one, but C or D, C or D, C or D. I don't know. Oh, love it. Sorry. Yeah. I can say that, right? Yeah. I can say that. I was going to do C or D, Fine. but it seems like C Fine. was better. <laughs> on. Pawn. Okay, pawn. Rook. Queen. Whenever they say queen, I get scared. That's wrong. <laughs> queen makes me nervous. Yeah. Pawn. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Rook. He's smirking over there. No, oh, just, no, that's not what I. That's, she didn't even see Rook. what I was doing, Daniel. <laughs> What's that? Rook. Rook. Okay. Rook, huh? Yeah, I just got. We just got some bits for that poker face of mine. So, I, I know how to not show my emotions after every move. Why is my screen frozen? What? It says you're disconnected. Oh no. Uh oh. We'll give you time back. Don't worry. Okay. Just log back in. We'll give you time okay. back. Because you have 37 seconds or you'll auto resign. Huh? Well, I'm, I'm right here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I can see you guys. Hold on. We're going to be okay. Maybe refresh. Refresh the page? Yeah. Do a do a refresh of the, of the browser. Okay. Hmm. That never happens in my house. Are you good? Are you back? Uh, nope, not yet. Oh yeah, you're you're. It's just doing the little circle thing. Yeah, it uh, it actually says your internet. Uh, it says you just went offline. Never right, but that can't be right. There we go. Ah, no. What's that? We can we restart it? From yeah, yeah, position? we can restart it. We can restart it. Okay. So yeah, because I'm obviously online, right? Because I couldn't. The Zoom wouldn't be working. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, hold on. We're gonna restart the game. One second. Okay. Weird. And presumably, we give Daniel like forty seconds back as yeah. well. Yeah. Why? Thank you. I'm trying you to get the impression are... that I'm a good sport. You yeah, are. Yeah, of course. I'm horrible. No, 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 no. no I... I don't know what happened there. You're. 
I was worried your dogs like chewed through your internet or something. They were. <laughs> no. All right, move finally. Are we back? Yeah, it did the move finally. Wait, but Wait, now no, I'm not seeing. Are you seeing it, Liv? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Um, I think we might. Uh, let's see. Daniel left. So do we have to refollow him or something? I think you might need to come back to live chess, Daniel. I'm right there. Where do you want me to go? Let me see. Wow, we're doing this. I would like to say that you're both playing fantastic. Yeah, this seriously, this is a crazy good game. Um, yeah, I'm, I feel, nah, I fucked up a bit in yeah. uh, that first pawn. I'm always bad at this. You uh, think that pawn you wanted her to like? Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, my, my knight. The first, the first time. Yeah, position. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Positionally, maybe some small errors, but overall, like you guys totally have the feel for what a good chess move is, which it sounds like a backhanded compliment. But no, no, I get no, it. it's not. Oh, no, I, no, I get it. Yeah, We're both feel players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it took me to where the hell am I going? Okay, what's going on here? Did you guys do that? I don't. I don't see a game yet. Our team is working on restarting the game, so I'm, I'm waiting to be told. So where do you want me to go? To live chess, right? Yeah, okay, looks like the game was almost started. The game's about to be started, and it'll be um, it'll be a new game. It'll look like a new game. Just stay right where you are. Everything will be fine. Don't move. Hands um, up. It looks like the game was started, but it should be Daniel's move. Right. Oh, maybe you gave him the wrong FEN code with yeah. white to move? Yeah. We're Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Um... Let's let's take a thirty second break. Everyone, just sit tight in the in the chat. Don't go anywhere. Um, me and Liv and Daniel are going to be, and and Jen will be will be right back. Yeah, I'll take a look at the chat while we're doing that. We're doing great. Everyone's good. Uh, tough, tough, tough. Stuff, stuff. Okay, I'm gonna say pawn. Kind of a yes. I'm allowed yes! to do that. Yes, yes! you did it. <laughs> That's something good. Looks like it. Yeah. Well, well, the yeah, the other move kind of lost. So I was I was rolling the dice there, but she's uh, <laughs> Magnus Barry over here. She's she's on it. What do we got, Jen? Um, let's do rook. Hmm. Beautiful. I, okay. Amazing. I was just about to kick myself for making that move because I thought it was too complicated, but of course you <laughs> see it. You're the best. Okay, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is tough. Um, this game, if anything goes wrong, I just want to say in advance, this is my fault, Liv. Um, <laughs> And same thing, because you've played better than we could have expected. Okay, queen. So. Queen. <laughs> queen. The chat just started a hashtag blame wrench. So they're blaming me. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Pawn. Um, do it. I guess do it. If I do that, do that. Oh man, that's so stressful right now. I know. We're getting low on time too, all of us. That's I gotta, like a, I gotta just move. Okay, Rook. Wow. Oh, screwed up. Rook. Rook, huh? 
right. Blasty, blasty. Bishop, <laughs> bishop. Pawn. <laughs> She's like, what the heck did you just do? <laughs> no. There's some, inter there's some really interesting things about that move. That's really interesting. Seriously, Please. actually. I uh, mean, like, I'm fascinated by this move. It wasn't, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't what I had in mind, but yeah. it's fascinating. <laughs> Um. Okay, <laughs> this this is good for us. We're we're gonna be in a in a tricky zone, but I I trust Magnus Barry with my life. I'm gonna say <laughs> Rook, Rook. Yeah. Oh. Knight. Knight. Okay. Oh. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Queen. <laughs> we're, we're okay, queen. No helpsies. No, I, all I said was we're okay, queen. I mean, there's like a million queens. Oh god. Okay, she so played queen b6. Hmm. What a game. Yeah, seriously. That wasn't even the move I had in mind, Liv, but it was phenomenal. Like I'm not even. Yeah, kidding. seriously. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's do. Rook. Rook. Oh, I see what you're doing here. That's a hello moto. Okay, queen. Night. Okay, let's just uh, eat a little rook dinner. <laughs> little rook for dinner. Uh oh. Okay. Um, still a really tough game. Yeah. Like I said, I don't. I, I don't think that's cheating. Saying it's still really tough. Yeah. No. I see. I see <laughs> okay. Yeah, What's going on? We're, we're. We're. You know, this is, this is still really tough. Um, <laughs> queen. Night. Night. Okay. Night. No, you said night. I heard you say night. I just... Okay. Want me to do the crazy? Let's go. Let's do the crazy. King. I don't know. I'm probably stupid. King. Yeah. I'm just going to figure out why. Ah, I just gave up a piece. That was stupid. Good. We no, got to be brave. You, you, we got to be brave. You did great. Hmm. Um, if you count the pieces, you still you'll, rock. <laughs> we're still we're done good. King, we're coming out. Here we go. We're coming out. <laughs> King's getting aggressive. Uh, let's do. One sec. Let's do pawn. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right, queen.
King. Queen. Queen. Hello, Moto. See ya. Bishop. Oh, no, you take my back. Dang it. I was like, I thought it was <laughs> Rook. Rook? Okay, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we, can, we can draw this. We can hold this. Bishop. Rook. Not sure. Uh... Okay, Bishop. Rook. King. Hmm. Dang. Rook. Rook, huh? Rook, really? Oh yeah, I guess. What the heck? Rook, huh? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't know why Rook, but... Oh, I'm confused now. Oh, oh, I don't know. King. Rook. King. King. On. Pawn. Pawn. Rook. Huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. King. Rook. Again, Rook. Why do I? This is where I really suck here. Okay, we go. That's okay. They're defending well. Pawn. <laughs> just... King. Oh, what did I just do there? That was dumb. We're just yeah. trying to hold on here. Bishop. Rook. <laughs> Rook, she says Rook. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> King. Oh, man. Just blowing it. It's okay. We're doing great. Rook. When do we take over? 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds. Pawn. Pawn. King. Rook. All right, what is your Bishop. Mm. Nice move, Rook. Bishop. Rook. Second. What? <gasps> Bishop, did you did you mean to do that, or was that a mouse? Slip? Oh no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you, did you mean to do that? I, I, I must have just had a blank freaking oh, okay. no. oh no. Uh, <laughs> part in the end game. End game matters. Huh? That's okay. King. <laughs> All right, Liv, it's it's Oh no, we're still about 30 I know. seconds. Don't, don't stalemate. Uh, okay. That's what I uh, Bishop. Don't do. Bishop. Yeah. King. Pawn. 
I think you're going to say king. King. <laughs> king. King. <laughs> Pawn. Pawn. All right, Liv, you got it from here. King. Yeah, you got it too, Dan. It's king. Uh, you, you think I've got it, but I don't know how to, <laughs> to end it. <laughs> she plays blitz. She never finishes games. <laughs> they always end on the dime. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's me. Right? Yeah, you just keep going. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna walk gradually, and try not to stalemate because I always do this. Well, my thing is lagging. Someone said in the chat to move my king. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move my king. Well done. This is so painful. Oh, wait. I'm being really stupid. Okay. All right. Well done. Seriously, you both played phenomenally that game. Yes. Daniel, very I mean, good. That, that last kind of just brain slip. Live, <laughs> live, epic That's comeback. Me just shuffling pieces around the board bit by bit, not really knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> that was a great game, though, especially like your, your moves. Rook C, when you played C5 and then Rook C5, Rook D8, Rook C8, you played basically all the moves yeah. that I was thinking because we really had a very nice position after, you know, H3 and after she didn't play that pawn move earlier. Yeah. No, but we, uh, good defense in the end game. If we go Can back we go to, back yeah, the, which the position? Um, I don't know where, where I just did some huge mistake with the point. Well, the 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 last the last mistake you you did you played great you 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 uh you took this pawn on e5 with the rook and and even though the knight fork, you found this move that I wasn't even expecting with queen to b6, on move um. Well, I'm showing it on the screen if you're watching Twitch. The move I was actually yeah. thinking of was was queen to c5. Because it pinned the knight to the rook, so that if they if they tried to take the rook, you could take here with check. Um, on um, on c8, I'll let the I'll let the stream catch up. Oh, I see, I see. But but the move you played was great. You played you played. Oops, you uh you played the move queen to b6, um, and then Daniel found Jen's great rook b8 move. Now, this was kind of our last chance. A after this, we, we we probably should have lost the game um, when we played right. queen to c5, letting letting them finally take the the rook. If if you play queen to c7 instead, uh, you're doing just fine because the queen attacks the rook, so they can't take the knight um, with the knight on e5 because then you would take with check, Liv, on b8. I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. The game is still super complicated, even if we find this move. But but after after Queen to C five, probably we we should have lost. And uh, yeah, Jen and uh, and Daniel played phenomenal chess, really, until until that last moment. You. Yeah, but I will say though, I thought it was going to be a draw after we lost the D pawn. Um, the 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 one option once we lost the D pawn, the one way that maybe we still could have won is if you brought your rook over to take the G and H pawns. Yeah, I'm gonna show that so, on the screen right now. Yeah, Liv, you did great being aggressive, bringing the king out. We got the queens off the board because I was worried about our king, and and then mm -hmm. I think here, what what Jen is saying, this is kind of an instructive point, Daniel, is once you have this end game where you have this extra D pawn. As much as you want to hold on to that and you were trying to with the rook, like probably the best strategy is to let that be a decoy that Liv is going to get with the king and instead just immediately start playing moves like rook over here if you're watching the stream. Yeah, I'm watching. And this is a this is a principle in chess we call principle of two weaknesses, which is that very often, even with a clear advantage, if you're just beating your head against that wall, life isn't easy. But the moment you would flip over here, now me and Liv are toast, right? Because now she's got to deal with the pawn and stop you from gobbling up all of these pawns on the king side, and we're just busted. Yeah. 
So from an end game perspective, I think that um, that's kind of what Jen was, and I knew, and I know uh, Jen was suggesting rook moves, and I think you were focused, as a lot of people would be in these positions, to focus on keeping your advantage. When in reality, the key to that advantage is precisely that it distracts Liv's king away from where she wants to be, which is guarding these pawns on the king side. Yeah. So that's kind I of. Was, a, I was like, you know, it's so different. Like you level yourself when there was someone else in your head, where like. I thought when she kept saying Rook, I thought she wanted to make some like elaborate genius sacrifices by Rook. You know, right. like, is that? I don't know. I don't see it. You know, well, I, a like, lot of the chat was screaming for that too. So you've got a lot of poker and chess fans right there with you. They're like, what is they're like, what does she want? When you when you were saying that, people were like, what does she want him to do? Sack the Rook? They didn't know. So yeah. Um, but, but that just, was an incredible game. I yeah. was really on the edge of my seat. Um, you know, particularly when we get to the end game, Danny and I, as the brains, don't really do a lot because there's only like a rooks, rooks and pawns left, right? But so it's Liv, all you guys. Liv, more more kudos for they're using the Magnus emote and then your face for Magnus Boy. <laughs> you 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 played all the right decisions. I mean, you could still go wrong in in uh, in this situation here, where um, when I was suggesting, I'll back up. Let's see to. Uh, the pawn moves here. When I was suggesting pawns, I was nervous you were going to play moves like like the H pawn and keep all the pawns, which would maybe eventually let their rook come around and, and get I us. I have a question that didn't make sense to me. There was one move she asked me to make, which was knight, when I went and I put it into check, and then uh -huh. I lost my... Yeah, we'll go you back to that. Yeah, let's go back to that. I saw that you were confused. What I was trying to do is what we call a desperado sacrifice. We're going to lose the knight anyway because the pawn was ready to take it. Right. So I was like, why not just clip off an extra pawn while we know we're going to die? Let's get as much as we can. Okay, so I guess I missed the part where we were for sure going to lose the, the knight. I didn't see where. Yeah. Well, yeah, because if we move the rook here, they're going to be able to take our knight anyway. Uh, oh, and, and the truth is, there's no safe place for it. Yeah. Although that said, maybe maybe it would be a better move to play something like, I mean, rook takes pawn is also a good move here. Because if you play um, yeah. either way, you take good things are going to happen for me anyway. Yeah, I'm showing. I'm so, showing that on the on the stream. You're right, Jen. Um, it's. I, I think you guys were winning either way. You were winning with Jen's move. You were probably winning if you if you did what you wanted to do, Daniel. Move the rook. Um, and. Uh, Ooh yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And, and the other move you might even do, you could bring the knight back to c6 where, where the queen guards guards her and, and she guards the rook on b8 as well. So, But I think at this point, Liv and I were kind of kind of desperate, but you, you did you took the right approach of when they did take the pawn with check to kind of just all in, to use the poker term, that I'm not qualified to use, and bring the king forward. Um, so, uh, do you guys, is that a thing that poker pros get bothered by when people use poker terms when they don't, when they're not supposed to be used? No. As long as they don't say, I I see your bet and I call it in some, like, <laughs> something that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> Right, some like... Um, like they do in every single movie. Right. Somehow, still even in 2018. You know the thing, too, like, when you guys talk about chess, and my brain doesn't work, like, when I hear, like, so from C8 to B knight to G knight, it's right. my, my speaking like Russian, because I'm like, I, I don't I visualize see. it. <laughs> in my so, like, like, when you do the D4 to 2, I'm like, what did I do with what, when, how? Yeah. Like, I know. Yeah, I, it, it doesn't. It doesn't mean it. You just have to sort of. I need you standing over my shoulder, pointing at the thing on my screen. And well, it's you, it, <laughs> you guys are. You guys are keeping up very well, though. Even though, you, and obviously on the stream, just takes a few seconds to catch up. So sorry about the lag there, but we'll try not to go too fast. I think chess players are sometimes too picky, Jen, when they hear chess is used in sports on, on sports TV all the time, right? The two coaches are playing a chess game or this and that and whatever. I think sometimes chess players are like, oh, that's not how you would use that when I think they should just be happy that someone's talking about chess. Right. So that's Absolutely. that's what I think. But I'm with you, Danny, on that. And with that said, hey, you guys want to uh, eliminate? Let's um, do it. But also congratulate. We're congratulating you while we eliminate you. Um, we've got our, our fourth place game here in the My Chess Poker Game Challenge. And this is a guy that Liv and Daniel and myself have no doubt already played poker with. Yep. Um, Three-time bracelet winner, Matt Matros, who created a challenge chess. And he's really getting into chess lately, Danny. He's rising fast. He loves the game. He's probably yep. watching with us right now. I I'm um, showing- He created a really interesting game. No, you're right. And I'm, I'm showing his video, like you said, congratulations. Obviously at this point we are, we are unfortunately uh, both eliminating people and congratulating them, but we, as we see Matt kind of describe his game, 
Uh, we'll share a link to the video in the chat for those who want to check out. I, I found this to be one of the coolest chess variant ideas we, we had ever had. I, I admit I, I did not vote for this one for first, and since Daniel admitted last round of video, he didn't. I will admit that I didn't vote for this one for first, mainly because I felt like it didn't have um, what I was looking for, I guess, in some, some both poker and chess elements, although the, the unique aspect of the challenge chess variant I thought was brilliant. And I think Matt is uh, clearly a super passionate chess player, and um, uh, I uh, can't wait to see more people playing this. And who knows, maybe something we'll bring to chess.com at some point if Matt gives us permission. So, oh, I cool. love this game. I thought that with tweaks, it might have actually like the best underlying concept, right. which is to, to secretly, I love that you know I have a, a, a toddler, and the idea is that you can use stickers in chess is already really exciting. Right. <laughs> you can make everything more fun with stickers. What I like I think of all the games that were chosen, like what I enjoyed most about this was the bluffing aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sort of like disclosed information yeah. where you like have to guess, does he really, is this really his power piece or is this just kind of like a bluff? And I kind of like how he incorporated that, but it's very chess-like. It wasn't, it wasn't like there wasn't a lot of variables that were pokerish outside of that one. And I don't know that I love the sticker idea. I know your kids might like it, but the sticker idea seemed a little, I don't know, I guess it'd be easy online, but a little more, you know, clunky. I mean, then you have the cheaters who like go low and they look at the pieces you're putting it down. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is true. That's a good point. That's what that's what the poker poker pros are always good at kind of troubleshooting games quickly well, and thinking of possible issues. Do. One of the things I thought he could do instead of a, instead of putting a sticker on the chess piece, if you just have cards, side cards that represent pieces, and then one of those cards is your power piece and that's the one that you have in front of you. So instead of having to put it on the piece, you get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that's so like left, you know, if it's queen side bishop, just as queen bishop on the card, and that would be his power piece. Right. Well, I go ahead, Danny. No, no, I, I was gonna say I, I, I think there, yeah, there were definitely some elements like that where I was looking for maybe for some more cards like that, suggesting or adding the chance there from the cards. I guess that's just because how I was thinking about it, but like you said, I think it was a brilliant idea. And I do like that Matt from the chess perspective was showing he was literally showing tactics he had already thought up, right? He, he did, designed the game and, and talked about the challenge and the bluffing aspect and then was showing how that might occur in a real chess game and really pose some tactical problems for your opponent. So I, I really liked that. Absolutely. So congratulations to Matt. Now we only have four games remaining. And, uh, and, and we have a few more games to play ourselves. So I don't even know what to say yeah. right now. This has been crazy exciting. Um, I know, Liv, earlier we, we could go into like... I, I want to go over every game in detail and describe where, like, maybe we weren't on the same page. But you played phenomenally. I, the one move I was hoping for earlier was to push the pawn on the queen side to stop him from getting, or stop him from advancing his c pawn to open the rook. Um, now we're like strategizing here. So like, just just throwing that out for next time. Okay, You'll, we'll have to discuss this afterwards, and yep. you'll just okay. have to send, send me the game and and. Hey. All right, are we are we ready? Daniel's dogs yeah. are they are they ready? I'm ready to go. Do they just want they want to be on camera or something? Or yeah, there's wind, wind. when there's wind, they see things that are not there. Got it. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna start the next game. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. Good luck, guys. Let's do pawn. Pawn. All right. Here we go. Mess, mess, mess around with her. Okay. Now I'm gonna say knight. Yeah. Uh. Knight. <laughs> Dog emotes flood the chest chat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, pawn. <laughs> uh. Pawn. She said pawn, right? Mm -hmm. Um, pawn. All right, I was distracted and laughing at a, an epic troll of mine who shows up in every show I ever do just to troll me, and he said, "Bark if you hate Danny Wrench." And there's a lot. Of <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. I. You, ha you have to learn. Is a pawn. You have to learn to love your. You have to learn to love your haters, love your trolls, or just life just is too short, you know. So I thought it was. I thought it was well timed comedy. So got to give him that. I'm sure Liv and, and Daniel are, are well aware of those strategies, right. too. <laughs> pawn. Pawn. Pawn? Pawn. Knight. Okay. 
Bishop. Bishop. Hmm. Lots of bishops. See your bishop raise you a bishop. Hey, shut up, dog. <laughs> Aww. Sorry. <laughs> All right, bishop again. Bishop. King. King. Rook. Pawn. So many pawns, Jen. Don't overwhelm the man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Which one? Mm -hmm. so... Bishop. Rook. Knight. What? What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Pawn. Pawn, huh? Bishop. 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 Bishops? Mm hmm. Hold the phone. Are you sure? Bishop. <laughs> what? Whoa. We have two bishops. Bishop. I mean, I'm giving no. too many hints. Sorry. Oh, no, I mean, no. <laughs> no, bishop. Oh, shoot. I was like, <laughs> right. I was, I was thinking you only saw bishop f1. I was like, wait a second. No, I thought it was a thick <laughs> You know, their option. I'm like, you're just going to let him keep his rook? That's not, that's not that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, Liv. Knight. Um, Bishop. Bishop. Pawn. Queen. Hmm. 
Bishop. Rook. Hmm. Bishop. Stubborn defense, I see. <laughs> okay. Um, night. Oh, he didn't like it. Yep. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> no. Dude, that means you're learning. That means you're learning my tells. Hmm. Well, oh, this is so like. I should have gone over to the side, huh? I I wanted to. Yeah, a more aggressive toward the king side move. Yeah. You don't have to complain about your position just yet. I I, I know that, but no, There's but no she's, complaining here. She's asking because she's I she's learned my tells. <laughs> I remember being told never put your knights on the side, but I guess there's oh boy. no right. that, the game. That's a great point. What do I got, Jim? Um, I'm. I'm well, we'll I'm talk. We'll talk about it after. How we can how we can avoid bad things from happening. Let's <laughs> let's do this. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh. Uh, let's do king. Best say night. Uh -huh. Uh, let's see, guys. Okay, Bishop. Queen. <laughs> 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 
Keeping it interesting, Daniel. We didn't like that either. I I actually did, and I was just trying to reverse the tell. I did all. Oh. oh <laughs> They're like right. we're on the same team. Yeah. Against me. Yeah, we're we're playing our own game over here. You say bishop a lot. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, Jim. What's the What's the deal with that? Yeah. Bishop. I don't know. Do she plays chess, right? Because she just says bishop all the time. <laughs> <laughs> bishop, bishop, bishop. Where are my bishop going? Oh man, bishop. What am I missing on the bishop? Um, not there. Man, bishop. She said bishop, right? Pretty sure. Yes, you don't like it. I don't get it. <laughs> you want to make your own move. I can't do bishop. I don't know. What the hell. I don't know. Which bishop here? So. I don't know. I don't know why. This one's got me all nervous again. This game just brought it up. <laughs> I just That's a wild guess. Okay. All right. Knight. Okay, I've seen worse. Uh, let's do. Hmm. King. Queen. Bishop. Back to bishops again. <laughs> we don't have a lot of choices here. Sorry. I had, I had <laughs> to go for a bishop. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean... Only one option. That was my only choice. Okay. There you go. You got it. <laughs> okay, some options. The okay, Rook. No, night. Now you say now you say night. Because mm -hmm. that, that's when I was gonna do bishop. I was gonna say <laughs> it's too late, Jen. You can't go away. No okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing night. Yeah. All right, then let's go. Night. Okay, rook.
missing something here. Why you want me to go with the rug? Yo, we got time. We got time to figure it out. Yeah. If I go there, I get taken. There I get taken. There I get taken. There I get taken. I can go there, but that doesn't really achieve anything. What? Are we allowed to say lines from the Matrix as advice? No! no! They're, already, they're already winning! I feel like okay. they're Queen. I didn't, I didn't say anything. I asked a question. Queen. Huh? Queen. You said Queen, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm going to lose my Queen then. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to lose the Queen. I nice. usually give up the Queen, but what are you going to do? Yep. Yum, yum. What am I doing? Rook. Rook. Let's take this freaking knight and get these knights. I hate knights. Okay. Be careful, this is, then. Yeah, this is a little, little dicey. Ah, oh, <laughs> Liv's saying be careful. <laughs> Daniel, don't mess up. Stuff. Don't allowed, mess up, Daniel. You're not allowed to t teach the expert. That's I mean, Danny. Cool. Don't mess I, up, I, Danny. I'm not, mess, I'm not messing up. I, or I, I'm not giving any advice. All right, pawn. Okay. All right. Pawn. <laughs> See, that's cheating. Well, I said pawn. Like, I know, but you guys cheated. I know it. <laughs> okay, what am I moving? Um, let's do... Uh, wow, this is such a fascinating position, guys. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is scary. Sorry. Um, this is too interesting. Uh, let's do rook. King? Bishop. King. Mm -hmm. Bishop. On. Bishop. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Running out of time. Get crazy. All right. Uh, very careful. Only one move. Right? Knight. Okay. Hmm. Oh boy. Any tricks here? No. You okay. Extra bishop. <laughs> you said bishop, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Queen. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Good game. You guys defended that super well. It was almost, it was almost no bueno there. I, I actually was panicking yeah. about the back rank. Um, there was a little, there was a little bit of intrigue there at the end. I thought we were lost in every single way. But then rookie eight check, bishop e five check. So live. L real, let's oh, show Rook H. Show, show the better move than Rookie One. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. Because Liv almost found it. Um, yeah. I want to go back to that moment we talked about Knight H5 because I think there's an interesting chess poker comparison. Want to get your and Daniel's thoughts on? But if you look at the stream back to move 23, the move you played Rookie Six. When when I was saying Rook, the previous move, I was actually. Slow down, slow down. Rookie Six. I just need to like. Need yeah. to find Where is that? Here, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go slow. So so the the move previously. Okay, yeah. My rook's set. Yeah, the, the move previously, I was hoping for rookie one, but you found this nice move rookie six instead to come over, uh -huh. right? And, and you wanted, oh, I see, you wanted it down there, of course, right. Right, I, I wanted it down there initially, but no, but your move was really good. You, you brought the rook up to the sixth rank, and then mm -hmm. after Daniel took the pawn, when I said rook, this time I was actually hoping for something different than rookie one because you actually had this amazing move rook h6 which i think you dismissed it because you thought the bishop could take but if the bishop moves right. we checkmate on h2 yeah so it's really beautiful right oh of course i see i see yeah yeah right, and, right, right, and what's great about this yeah. is there's actually not really any way to stop mate um there, there could be some sacrifice like the queen but if any any normal move is played for white let's say trying to defend you're actually threatening mm -hmm. the move Queen takes h2, bishop takes h2, and then rook takes h2, and Bob's your uncle over here on h1. So that was actually a really cool mating net. 
Yeah, that's really sweet. I love that move, Rook H6. But rookie one, of course, is winning too, but it gets a little complicated after the G6 variation, yeah. right? But so and, b- back to this position where where how about we make sure that Daniel uses the po- Danny uses the actual poker face now and doesn't do the and I, can, I, in the violence? Can we do matrix and all this kind of stuff? Well, I can file a protest with the <laughs> commission. <laughs> I will. I'm doing behavior. He's flagged for three games. She was. She was wrong a few times when she was reading me. By the way, I'm trying to do, but I will do my best now. I'm gonna cover my. I'm gonna be like those kids who play poker against you, Daniel. When they bring their when the they bring their hoodie to the to the poker table and they cover their yeah. face up with the hoodie. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. But back, back to this position uh, on the stream now on move 17 where Liv didn't play the move knight h5 because she said afterwards that she knows the principles of not putting your piece on the edge. Even though in this scenario, the knight actually quickly coming over to the king side, it's not going to stay on the edge, was probably the better way to, for black to attack. And it made me think... Yeah. There are those obviously there, there are those moments in chess where you have principles guiding your moves intuitively, but you have to calculate, and maybe the better decision is something that goes against the principles. What would be the best poker comparison to that? Like my an amateur poker player like me would say, you have pocket aces, but the way the betting has gone, you've clearly been told perhaps that you're actually you're actually beat by let's say something on the board, right? Even though you don't want to admit it to yourself. What what would be a good comparison to that? Where you have to like you have to go with concrete calculation of the of the betting versus the intuitive way that or what would be the best chess to poker comparison to that comparing intuition and principles versus concrete calculation i mean it'll be i mean my rule of thumb is you should only really override the the concrete like what the math says if you have an extremely extremely strong piece of evidence um so and like that's a mistake people make too often is that they'll they'll deviate from what like game theory says but the math is actually like pretty straightforward you know you have a hand that is within the realm of your range where you should be calling like 80 90 percent of the time or something like that um so you need to have unbelievably strong evidence of like some kind of intuitive feeling in order to like deviate from that and i mean what i mean by unbelievably strong would be uh, i know that you've played at least a thousand hands with the person and they've been extremely straightforward in their in their their behavior and so on and now they're all of us you know if they're like the world's super tightest player um and they're now betting huge when when a you know a rivet king comes out and you're worried that they've rivet a set of kings against aces against your aces or something like that like some really unique situation um where you, you have to be unbelievably confident basically but yeah go with the math if in doubt yeah, Liv, I mean, you just gave a, a TED Talk where you talked about decision-making and poker, and you can find that pretty easily just by going to your Twitter, but do you feel like there's anything um, correlating to that in chess, like your main points? I'm sure there is, but when I play, like, I am i don't know all the strategy yet and all the, like, optimal bits, so I just go with, I, I have, I guess, just I've played enough games where I, I've picked up some kind of, like, pattern, re- pattern recognition, yeah, um, right. like the back rank. You notice that right away. Like, uh-oh. right. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, I've seen this before. This is bad. I've, I've you know, I've had my fingers burnt from this situation. So, um, yeah, I, I, chess is actually an interesting thing where I'd say I, I play differently to what I would advise in poker. Because, but that I think that's more just because I don't have the skill set or the knowledge to be able to actually sort of play um, optimal strategies. So I just... Bump, you know, bundle my way through with with sort of pattern matching, which I guess in this instance is intuition. So, yeah, it's, uh, there's there's no clear answer. Daniel, you um, you just did a master class, so without revealing too much of what people should sign up for, maybe give a maybe give yourself a plug about your master class. Do you talk about this as far as what Liv just said about for the most part going with the math, but you would have to have a very clear piece of evidence to sort of trust your gut and go against what the what the math says to do. Yeah. So I've obviously in the last 20 years done a lot of poker teaching, you know, in a way like a small ball approach, which was sort of infamous 10, 15 years ago. The game's evolved so much in the last two, three years with the, you know, sort of like the the forefront of solvers and game theory. So in this masterclass, we sort of incorporate a lot more of like a baseline, which is fundamentally sound and then deviate from there. So let's say, for example, you know, we find a situation where you should be betting about 50 percent of the time in this situation. We do is like we've come to that conclusion. 
that's a bright, the right percentage based on a game theory play if you were against a robot. So we start from a base point of like, this is the right play against a robot, but then realize, you know what? I'm playing against Danny. Danny's not a robot. Danny calls too much. Danny's like, he's, he's losing. He's not playing as well as he would. So instead of, you know, where I should bet 50%, maybe against him, I'm only going to bet 25% or even 0%. So that's the great thing about using game theory and what we call exploitative play. And we spend a lot of time on that throughout the masterclass. There's also physical tell stuff, which, you know, is obviously important if you play live poker. But it's, it's a lot of new stuff that I've never really shared before because, frankly, two, three years ago, I didn't even know it existed. So. Right. <laughs> Well, I just gave a link to your masterclass, and um, we'll uh, we'll share that again. So, how long has your masterclass been out? Like, did you did you do yours before Gary Kasparov's chess, or was yours after? After. Yeah. After. So, I, I actually used I watched Gary Kasparov's chess before. I, once they contacted me and said they want to do it, I watched his, which was I don't know April May. It released. I want to say the, the well, we did sort of like a little mini release during the World Series, but it officially released right at the end of August. So that I think it's about thirty five videos with sort of like a workbook that you can cool. follow along with. And uh, yeah, so far the reviews have been really, really great. And I'm you know, glad to hear it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some poker seminars coming up. So I actually just uh, have started watching yours, Daniel, to get a sense of how you teach. And it's really great. I, well, I, I yeah. love it. Thanks. To that, Noe, like, I think that like, so I have a guy who I work with as a coach and he's a very computer nerdy guy, right? And he speaks a language that, you know, when you guys talk chess, it's very difficult to see. He says like stuff like, so we need to bifur bifurcate the metacognition. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I have no idea what either of those terms are. So uh, I have a, I feel like I have a unique way of understanding what he's trying to say and then putting it in actual right. English. Words. Right. Understand. The, uh, the translator, po translating the, the math to the, to the masses. So I need to well, go. Great news guys. We've got two more games to we talk about. And, and Yay. I think it's time for us to reveal. So we, we said initially for all 6,500 of you with us now, thanks to everyone who's with us, all your support. This is awesome. Uh, there were six people that made it to this final round of judging, but we've already rewarded fifth place. And for those of you who are good at paying attention to clues or doing the math, you know, not me, uh, you may have put together that we actually have a tie, which was based on uh, the exact voting. So the next two videos we're going to reveal, both tied for third place. And uh, we're going to start... Uh, I guess I'll announce it because we're going to be playing this game here in just a moment. Our next game, along with me keeping my poker tells away, as Daniel as Daniel said, we're also going to add another element of, of spiciness to the chess. And we're going to play Alexandra Botez's uh, Blunder Chess, who she finished in third place uh, along with our uh, the person I'll reveal next. I won't say it just yet. Um, but, um, Jen, you want to talk a little bit about Blunder Chess and, and what your thoughts were about Alexandra's game and, and what you liked about it? I thought this game was absolutely brilliant. Blunder Chess. What I loved about it was it was so simple. But as soon as you watched her extremely entertaining video that she did with Anna Rudolph, an international master who also does a lot of streaming, you were excited. You were like, man, I want to play this. This is fun. It, it's very strategic, but it also takes away some of the competitive aspect of chess and makes it a little bit more fun. So uh, I thought it was a brilliant way to show that you can just make one change and totally turn um, chess into a party. Well, what about our poker pros? This was one of the more chessy of the of the of the final videos to review, right? Really all chess. So, what were your thoughts about about the element that they added? Uh, yeah, um, I, I as like playability again. This is one that I really really want to play. Um, it, it just seems like it's, uh, just a fun added dimension that's. I guess sort of got like a slightly more gambly twist, but um, why I didn't vote it as highly was because I felt like it just didn't really have um, enough poker in it. Um, I think it was just a little bit too chess heavy, but in terms of like a really playable game, I think this is a fantastic invention um, and I would love to just see it online somewhere. Yep. I, I, love love it. I love it for other reasons. Like I came up in gambling outside of just poker games where, you know, if you played pool, right, you could play pool with a guy and you're like, I'll oh, spot you the eight, I'll spot you the seven. So right. Blunder Chess is something that I could see happening down the road where let's say if I play Jen Shahadi, like what if I play you, but like you have to blunder on move like five, 10 and 15, right? right? Say if like you're way better than a person, you can pick like multiple blunders or something like that. No, but um, I love that idea, Dan. In, fa in fact, that's that would be almost an, a way we could calculate odds online based on the rating. So like if, if because you and I, let's say if we're a thousand points apart, you get to pick three of my blunders. If we're 
if we're only 500 points apart, you get to pick one move, right? That's an interesting variant as far as finding kind of an equal equilibrium so that all players of, of chess understanding have, like, equal chances to win the game. I like that. Like you, you could be, like, you know, in, in pool, you'd have a scratch rating or whatever. So you could be, like, a zero, one, two, or a three. And if you're a three, then you're on the real low end, which means if you play a one, that means you get two extra blunders. Or you play a zero, you get, you know, three. So, like, that's I, – I think anything you can do along those lines to make chess more playable – with people that are super, super good and people that are like mediocre or bad like me. Um, so I, I kind of like that. I like the, the combination of uh, opportunities. I'm there. literally making a note about that right now so I don't forget it after the show. I'm like not kidding. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Jen, go ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I also thought that there's a lot of a lot of these games, you could twist them and make them even better. And Alexander, of course, she's actually in the chat right now. So shout out to Alexander Botez, who's just such a great ambassador for the game. And... Um, I thought her idea was brilliant, and it, it was just uh, really fun to play. I actually played all the finalists against either um, chess players that I know from the area or game designers, so I played hers. It was really fun. And we're going to play it in a few minutes, okay. right? Well, let's let's reveal who tied with her, and then we'll do that. We'll get into hand and brain, but this time with the twist of each one of the teams oh. here is going to have to randomly or we will be subject to blundering because our opponents get to choose the move on a random move number. But do you want to announce who, who tied with Alexandra? Yes. Yeah, so uh, the player who had tied with Alexandra, another great ambassador for the game, Alyssa Melikina, who came up with the game Poker House, which is a twist of crazy house. The thing I loved about Alyssa's game is she put a lot of thought into how you could turn pieces into chips and still make it work. And the way she did it, was she used a twist on a very popular chess variant called Crazy House, where you never actually lose any pieces because they're always passed on to your, your partner. Um, when you capture a piece, you turn it over and it becomes your own piece again. So you're always going to have 32 pieces in Crazy House. So it works really well to then turn those pieces into chips. Um, I played it as well. And I thought it, it required maybe a few tweaks, like maybe you need to make it limit. But it was actually a blast because it was like the one game where I played and I could actually play a no limit hold them hand in the middle of the chess. And it kind of made sense, which I think is like a huge achievement because it's not that easy to combine the two. I found that what my only concern, I love it too. I think it was really fun. But like my only concern was that as a poker player, that the poker hand is too powerful or it means yeah. too much in terms of like the outcome of the game. Like, I mean, a lot of poker players, if you play it properly, and she actually mentioned this in her video, this is very aware of poker and that like if you play with really good players and they get ace jack and pocket fives they're going all in right right so now you're like basically saying this hand is the end of the chess match because you're like out of pieces or whatever so if there was a way as you said jen to kind of like incorporate limit structure or lower the uh impact of the poker hand then i think it really has a better much better balance yeah so she had a great idea perhaps a lot of these games i feel like that because you know they only had um, three weeks or a month to create a game and make a video and talk about why they'd be a great ambassador. So it's kind of understandable that I think actually almost every single one could probably be even better. If you think about how long it took Danny for the rules of chess to get codified, right? Right. Um, hundreds of years, right? Until we we we, we came upon, upon um, the powerful queen and the castling and the antecedent rules. So um, all of these finalists had like brilliant ideas that maybe could be tweaked to become even better. And that's kind of my favorite part about this challenge, that this is just really the beginning. I think there's going to be even greater ideas that came from these, um, these videos and these um, contributions. All right. Well, that means we are now down to two. And for those of you who have been following things closely throughout the last uh, month or so, as, as Jen said, the, uh, the Twitter hashtag that you've all been following very closely, I'll, I'll go back to that right now. You can see it. If you're curious who the final two are left, uh, go ahead and, and look that up and, and you'll know who they are. But those of you uh, who followed it, you know that we're down to two, but we're not going to get to that until we play this next game of hand. Oops, somebody tweeted, uh, uh, I guess a staff member of mine tweeted what I look like. That's uh, that, that's the that's the office. So sorry about that. That was pretty funny. All right. Sorry. Random tweet. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, we ready? We're playing Blunder Chess. Okay, so I'm going into my phone and I'm going to random number generator, just like Alexander did in her video. And I'm going to start with, I guess I'll start with your guys' blunder, okay? So are, I got my phone up here. Are, I mean, people are loving. Here, I'll send you the screenshots later, guys. You know, I'm we not believe gonna, you. I we, just, we trust you. We trust you. I have to oh, say. Oh, wow. You guys got, I put five to 20, and this is an example of how random doesn't always feel very random because you got 20. So 
We oh. make the blunder on move five, and you make the blunder on move. 20. No, 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 no. You, no, no. I didn't. I didn't do mine yet. So yeah. you guys make the blunder on move twenty. Ah, okay. And that we make the blunder on move nine. That's good. Uh, right. I feel like that's bad for us. Uh, yeah, that could be. Unless you win between moves nine and twenty. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Well, it is going to be interesting. Daniel, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so what am I doing exactly? I'm playing so your, We're still playing regular hand and brain chess, but um, on now. move on move nine, we get to tell them, uh, I'm sorry, they're move 20. On move nine, they get to tell us a specific uh, piece to move, and, I mean, a specific move to make. So, so basically, move nine, you guys are going to make a move and then tell us what to move. Okay, and then so for like when we're doing it, you just tell them because like you know probably a little better than me. Yeah, so we can we can have the brain just make the full move on move nine, or you guys can talk about it amongst yourselves as well. So both blunders are nine. Ours and theirs. No, th theirs is nine. Ours ours is twenty. Yep. Right. That's what I said. Right. Yeah. No, no. Ours is nine. Yours is twenty. Right. That's right. That's right. So, I picked yours so you guys first. have Sorry. to blunder first, but if the game is still going, we have to maybe make the more. Vertical blunder, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know who has the advantage in that scenario. I don't either, but it's going to be fun. And to those of you asking in chat, the game, the the game, the reason that this was a finalist was because you did not have to combine poker and chess. You could combine chance and chess as well. So right. the chance element is when do you have to blunder? If it's er too early, it might be good for them, but we'll find out. Okay. So we're going to play another um, 10 minute game and we're going to twist it up on moves nine and 20. All right. Okay, well, we have to blunder on nine. Got it. Here we go. Here we I'm go. Ready. All right, Liv, pawn. Okay, right. they're white this time. All right. So, so maybe we should be more aggressive right, to start. Like, should, Jen, we, should we go uh, all in, Liv, pawn. and try to get our pieces in aggressive spots so that... Oops, I screwed up already. <laughs> um, do you, you want to go yeah. back? Can we start no, it's okay. It's fine. No, it's okay. I, I thought it's all right. Again. Oh, this is a great move. I love the Sicilian. Do you not know? I don't play? think it's good for blunder. That's all I'm saying. Got it. You, th you think it's a little weakening for when you make a blunder. Got it. I thought for blunder chess, it's a really bad move. Normally, it's what I play as a Sicilian, but I think in blunder chess, it's probably really bad. All right. Don't start throwing out names that you claim to know. You know what a Sicilian is? Yes, this is the move, Sicilian. That's all yeah. I know is this oh. move. <laughs> all right. So I think I think we should. I, this is I, I promise. This is not gamesmanship at all. I'm just like I think we should maybe have an aggressive strategy because we want we want to win early because they're going to beat us late, right? So this is definitely right. what we, what's known as cheating right no, now. Okay, this I'm just going to cover my face and everything. All right, so knight, knight, and I'm going to cover my face until after things are done. Too late. You already did the cheating. <laughs> all righty, uh, let's do uh, knight as well. I have to. I have to figure out a way to stop my. I I just minimize you. How about that? Well, <laughs> no, I have. A, I have a great idea of how to avoid giving you my tell. So. Oh, you're gonna put some shades on. Well, yeah. Meanwhile, our clock is ticking. Okay, the clock is ticking. Um, so I'm gonna say bishop. Okay. And then every move after you move, before. Before everyone can see how I feel, we're just gonna. <laughs> Oh man, this is intimidating. So once once my uh, once my emotions gone, I'll take it away and show my face. So let's do pawn. <laughs> She's still looking at me. <laughs> oh boy, that's really okay. That's hard to look at. I mean, All well, right. night, night. <laughs> okay, um, let's do night. Okay, we're on move four still. Plenty of time till we have to blunder. Now we can't lose our king. You can't make us give you your king. That's like the one rule, right? So. Am I allowed to say things if Liv can't see my face? Like, I love that move. It was really aggressive. <laughs> All right. No, Magnus, somebody is in chat saying, I'm saying that Magnus is ugly. To the contrary, this is just not the best look for Magnus, guys. Right, I mean, queen. that's out of proportion. Queen. Queen. Magnus is a very handsome man. Queen. Um, okay, so 
we'll we'll go night again. Okay, so what move number are we now? We are so we're we're, five. We have four more moves to make. All right, queen. <laughs> Oh God! That's a better look for you. A little better. A little better. Hey there, Hikaru. This is just. I'm oh not, boy! This is why oh I don't boy. play poker because I can't hide my emotions. So we have to hide my face from Liv. So my turn, right? Yeah, it's your turn. Um, I'm trying to figure out what we should do here. Give me a sec. I'm thinking about the extra elements of the game and uh, realizing that we don't want to allow them to checkmate us. Um for our blunder, because then we won't get to our 20th move. You see what I mean? Yep. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm, I guess I'm not supposed to say all that, but you know what I mean? It's fine, it's fine. It's like... um, let's play. I'm, I'm not gonna use the fat heads anymore, but I'll do my best not to show how I feel. All right. Um... I, I have minimized you. Oh, you okay. have, okay. Yeah, not that that means that no one can see, but I have. Okay. All right, let's do... Um, I need to get rid of that. Um, okay, I, let's let's do pawn. Sorry, I think I gave too much information away, but you guys can handle it. Yeah. I, I like I like the meta tells Ooh. and stuff, I think. Yeah, the it's a pawn. I know. And now I'm like... There you go. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so I know we have our blunder coming. So I'm going to oh, say pawn. Coming soon. I'm going to say pawn. Okay. Okay, so we make a move, they make a move. Oof. This could get ugly, but gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, pawn. Interesting. <laughs> okay, Interesting. okay, Bishop. We get to choose their move very soon. Yeah, it's the next move, right? Uh, yeah, after this move, yep. Mm hmm. Okay, so we need to get extra, oh, never mind. This is just so thought provoking that I can't help but talk to myself, you know? Go for it. Ah. Nobody's judging, you know? I know, I know you're not judging me, right. Okay, I gotta go um, queen. Queen. All right. Queen. Queen. Now we wonder. Okay, so. So, I. I have to just say the piece now, and Liv does it, but then we both get to discuss the blunder, right? That's how it works. You pick the blunder, yeah. Right. So, well, for, first I have to say the piece to move. So I'm going to say pawn for our, for our move. Okay. So that's that. Okay, so now I get to pick the blunder. I mean, it should just be... Well, I'm also... I'm also the reason and, we did this... I was thinking about F7. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's oh, okay. I can figure this out. Da, 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 da. Um, but no, we uh, don't have any. F we don't have any mating ideas. So even though they're going to lose their queen, it was good that they moved her because. But we can just. They're going to take their queen, and then they're kind of screwed anyway, right? Because we can just. Oh, you know the... what we can do? Oh, I have a great idea. We can play king to e7. They have to play oh, king e7. Ticking on this. Does this make sense? Then. 
then oh that's a good point i guess we should have paused the clock burned like a minute off on our clock oh you're yeah, right that's oh, true. I'll, no i'll give you the time back we'll give you the time back um okay so we so, uh it'll tell us exactly how much time you used when we're done so i think we play king e7 live because then we take the queen with check so we're basically giving ourselves two moves so a b c d e so just you move the they they need to move okay i see yeah I'll we bring the their king forward. forward so we're basically buying two moves so let's do that. So you guys have to play King E7, and then I'm gonna. Okay. And then I'm gonna right, give we'll you play time King back. E7. Daniel, play King E7. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you, now you, I give guys, you, back. you guys, you guys one though. Did we? You could have made us. You could have made us play Queen D8, <gasps> Queen F7. Bam! Oh my gosh! I literally almost nice. fell over. Oh we, no! I still we're still in a lot of trouble, Daniel. I don't know if we can survive this for. Uh, I, I don't know if we can survive oh, this for I'm the so eleven. Oh, I'm so dumb, Liv. I'm so sorry. But we we oh, at least so at least much. we didn't get made in. <laughs> oh my gosh! And I was I was thinking about that the whole time when we did this bishop c four queen h five plan. Like that was my idea was to mate you and leave your queen. I didn't want the queen. Oh my god, this is so fun! I have to say my original idea wasn't queen f six. It was queen e seven chat. Because then I was like, oh, at least we're not going to get toasted on e six because we're defended by the knight and the queen. Yep. But it's. It's really interesting having such a big space in between the moves, 9 and 20, because it's if you play aggressively, you can try to just beat us before 20 moves, right? Yeah. For it all. Okay, so... Um, so, I mean, now, yeah, now your move, pawn, pawn. We, we definitely yeah. want pawn, okay. yeah. So we, we missed out on, on we, mate? We had mate in one. But your position's still not looking too bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so my turn. Again. It was my fault. I just I, I ruined everything. It's all gone. Yeah, it's all gone. So they should now have, you're what? now you're losing. They should have 19 for more sure. seconds. They should have 19 huh? more seconds. And they did. You didn't give me okay. you didn't give me a command yet, right, Jen? Um, wait. I don't see a. What's going on? Is there something? For you. It's your move. Oh. You're in check. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think that for some reason I didn't get that update. Um, King? I'm okay. sorry. It's for some reason I'm not seeing the position on the board. Why is that? Um, it's, on, it's on us, right? Uh, queen. Maybe I should just refresh or something? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, okay. I'm, I think we're all seeing it, yeah. Okay, I see it now. Sorry. Um, Well, I mean, I'm a, I assume it's king, right? King, yeah. And <clears throat> knight. And we got oh, man. <laughs> so we, we so got, you guys won anyway. We got lucky. We got lucky. Honestly, I think having to blunder first must be a huge advantage. And now the... No, I, I don't think so. Didn't you see the game between Alex and Anna? That, but I guess it was kind of close together. Yeah, but it, it was, was like... It was also similar... But they were at 12 and 14. When you go 9 to 20, that, that's yeah, a that's lot a of huge time. gap. That's like you guys don't have enough time to recover. It feels like that was unfair. Um, let's go back a couple moves because I think if I played the if we played Queen E7, I, I think uh, I think it's not that easy for you guys, is it, to make us make a really bad blunder? Well, so if instead of instead of Queen F6, we play Queen E7. Yeah, um, Queen E7 have, check. Which is yeah. See, that's the point. When I get when I get out of check, you don't get two moves in a row, which is pretty cool, right? right? Yeah. So now we have to move the king or, or knight or something. We have to block. Exactly. So you you say you move like knight e two or something. And now we get to make your blunder, but it's we can't do the same mate anymore, where we put your queen on d eight and checkmate you because your knight guards it. Yeah. Exactly. You probably have to go. I guess it's still going to be pretty good for you. You'll make us play like queen e five, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then, and then we but, could take your queen. Yeah. Yeah, but then I wonder, can we survive ten moves? It just seems like too much. Maybe. It feels like the gap, like nine and t ten more moves. Now that you're down a queen, like I don't know that. I don't know that you can, right? I mean. No, probably not. Probably not. I think maybe we need that. a. I think it makes sense. Like when they're closer together. Yeah. The second blunder is more valuable. But when they're far apart, the first one's just really, really. Yeah, yeah. Too no, it seems. Agreed. Agreed. That makes a lot of sense. I think though that maybe if we had had to like hunker down a little bit more in the beginning of the game, maybe it would be a little easier. Like played the French, maybe. I, yeah, that's what I. Yeah, as soon as I made the first move, yeah. my normal I usually do. I'm like, oh, not for blunder. Right, this right. Is bad. You're supposed to hide the queen as much as you can. I would imagine in the beginning. Right. 
Yeah, I tried that. Although it's funny, when I played a practice game with this, I tried that because I, we wanted to see if the game was flawed, if you get a really early blender, if it would be too easy to hide your pieces. And it's actually surprising because if you play too passively and you hide your pieces, it's kind of difficult to then make your opponent blunder badly because your pieces aren't active enough to like make them make a really bad blunder. Yeah. If that if you follow me? Yeah. Yeah, so it's actually there's a lot of there's a lot of intrigue into this game, but I think if you had a lot of trials in it, you'd have to probably balance for certain factors. Well, and I think and it's not to I mean, I think Alexander's uh, variant is is brilliant and obviously we just had fun, but I also really liked Daniel's uh, idea earlier that I was not joking making a note about because I do think that one of the things that we're doing at chess.com all the time is, you know, you, you're trying to improve how computers analyze human chess games, right? And we've done things that, for Daniel and Liv, who probably don't follow us closely, we've done things like analyze and evaluate all the world chess champions in history or all the best games and try to figure out ways to sort of apply um, mathematical evaluations to how well people play that are rating blind and strength blind. The things that are, in theory, outside factors. Like in poker, you can't control how well your opponent plays the hand, right? You know what the math says, and you don't know what cards are coming. You just have to make your best decision based on the information you have. And I think that finding the right like algorithm that says, like, hey, when these people are different in strength by this much, it's worth three blunders, or it's worth five blunders, or it's worth two blunders, right? I think that would be an interesting idea for a variant that expands on this same idea if we actually did enough of the, the, the math with some of the research we do to figure out what that number is. Like, how much better is an IM better than a 1200 in terms of blunders? I don't know. I love it. And I think you could do reverse hand also, yeah. where you don't give them the exact blunder, but they like have to move a queen or something. Right, exactly. Right. So it's kind of like the opposite. It, it, that would be a fun thing with hand and brain. Like now I get to tell Liv what she has to move for one time yeah. in the hand and brain game. Go ahead, Liv. So, oh, I thought Liv was going to. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah, like blunder hand and brain. Um, that would be really interesting. Yeah, great, great idea by both. I mean, and I do want to just give a shout out to the fact that the women did such a great job with their creativity in this contest, um, this My Chess Poker Game contest. Um, we had far more male entries than female, but the women who really who entered just really uh, had such incredible games. Uh, and we had, we actually had uh, three um, women and three men in the finals and. You know, it was it was really cool to see the creativity that came out. And with that, Danny, yeah. I mean, well, we're basically at the point where Daniel, we're going to announce the winners. Before we get to that, were you going to say something, Danny? Yeah. Because we are about to announce the winner. This is like last game of the year. Can't hold anything back now. What were you going to say, Dan? Me? Yeah. Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say something. No. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. Well, I don't know. I'm nervous about this. This feels... Really scary. Yeah, it's really it, it's it's really fun when you have this tension of knowing that everyone can win, um, especially when you love all the videos and all the games. But we're at the point where we're going to have to announce the winner. And I got to say that these final two were extremely close, like well, within a point. And it really could it really could have gone um, to either of them. But uh, let's congratulate our second place runner up finisher. Jen Valens for her game, Five Card Chess. Yeah, that means that those of you who followed it closely know who won, but we'll get to that in a second. Jen's game, Five Card Chess, I loved it for two main reasons. One, how easy it was to understand. It was just super simple. I felt like I could I felt like I could buy this game in a store or or it wouldn't even be hard to bring on to chess.com and I could teach it to my to my six year old, right? I felt like it was pretty easy. Like you get a card, tells you what piece you have to move, and then you know, some of the other rules as far as when you can call and do different things got a little tricky, but overall, I was like, this is an actual game that just instantly adds chance to chess, and you could explain to a five-year-old. Yeah, and I, I, pr I played this one as well, Danny, and I got to tell you, it's pretty balanced. Like, there is a lot of, like, fun quirks to it, but for the most part, you kind of feel like you're playing chess um, for a lot of the game, which is nice because some kind of, like, uh, like many years ago, I made this beautiful roulette chess wheel that was more of like an art object than a game. Right. But we did try to play chess with it. And one of the problems was it was a little bit too restrictive. So people would just have to make too many terrible moves. So I thought the balance was too much in the locked side. Whereas this, I really like the balance. Like the better player still has an edge, but the amateur definitely can win. Right. Especially if they're sneaky enough. Liv, what did, what did you think in, in, in judging this one? 
Um, I I thought it was a actually beautiful mix of um, of chess with. I mean, the the poker element was sort of minimal, but there was a lot of chance. I found it was the whole idea of like um, the the doubling the doubling dice was uh, extremely great. It was just like basically you keep going until someone's bankroll runs out. I was like, oh, this this is this is pretty brutal. Um, so I I like that side of it. Um, I would I just would love to play it without without actually getting a chance to sort of really play it and get an idea of sort of how well balanced it is. Right. Um, it's it, it's hard to sort of judge the uh, the play, but I I, re I loved her presentation as well, Jen. Like she just I, I don't know she's someone I would love to have seen it to, to, to meet. Basically, she seems like a very cool lady. Yeah, she does do a lot for chess, and um, really big congratulations to her. But that doesn't mean that we have a winner, guys. Yep. Uh, congratulations to Warren Sheaves, who will be going to the Bahamas and takes home a platinum pad for his idea, Chess Draw. Daniel, where did you vote for this one? Chess Draw was, drumroll please, my number one. I had a feeling. This my number one pick was Chess Draw. And I didn't think I was going to pick it, honestly. In the beginning, you know, watching the video, I'm like, well, this guy seems kind of goofy. Yeah. What, does he know? <laughs> But then when I actually, no, really, because he's kind of a funny guy and he was being silly, as you can see in the video here. But then I actually, like, watch the mechanics of the game. I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. So then you draw cards and then you try to make a poker hand. And then, like, you've got the chess element. So you're either going for the checkmate or you're going for the straight or the flush. I mean, when you talk about a game that incorporates chess and poker and an element of chance, like, I I, I think that one, this one best fits what you were, what you were describing in that sense. Um, and I, lo I, I love it. Like, this is a game that I would actually – Kind of enjoy playing and seeing how crazy you could get yep. indeed i like the fact that when you when you watch this video kind of similar to how i felt about Alyssa's video you were like my first and 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 blunder chess as well like one of my first instincts was like oh i want to play this because it's so fun to just get cards especially for those of us who play a lot of no limit hold'em where you get two cards like all these games like draw games chinese poker type games where you're just getting tons and tons of cards it's it's always just kind of fun like oh it feels like a present right that and uh, I really like that about his game. So, like all the gambling elements and the different point structures, like there's a lot more to think about outside of just chess and poker because each hand has a specific value attached to it. And then right. you can like, you doubling all that kind of stuff. It's just like, I mean, a lot of madness can, I could see like what we call in poker, and maybe this isn't the most colorful term, a lot of us degens who like crazy action would really like be drawn to a game like this. Exactly. And one thing I like about using the doubling cube, in fact, the top two finalists use the doubling cube. And at first I was like a little bit um, confused by so many people using the doubling cube for chess poker games. But then I realized that it's really brilliant because it makes it so that if somebody has a really big edge, the game just ends and money exchange hands and then you move on to a more interesting game, which is you could do that in chess as well, but particularly in these types of games, I think it's important. Now, Liv, we you don't know, want to just be stuck. You, oh, I'm sorry. Liv, we know oh, no, you, I'm saying you don't want to just be stuck drawing cards trying to get a king, right? Right. Liv, we know that you voted for, um, as, as we already talked about earlier, you, you voted uh, for Kristoff's game for first. So where, where did you put Warren's game? I put this one third. Third. Got it. Yes. After I put Poker House second and, and this one third. Um, uh, yeah, I, again, I, it was really, really tough. This I love this yeah. one. Um, it, it it just sort of combines. It really does combine everything. Um, I'm unsure of. I think he. I think he mentioned there was some flexibility in terms of the 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 point system um, right. and so on. Jen, did you play that? Did you guys actually play this one? I did. I liked that one as well. I did feel it needed some tweaking in that it was a little too easy to make uh, a straight plus, but otherwise yeah. it was just really fun. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I wondered. I wondered how, like, sort of how often you are making these. But again, there's like this sort of element of bluffing, um, and and it, it just really seemed like a, a beautiful combination, um, and sort of fulfilled all the criteria that you asked for, basically. Yeah, and it's kind of cool, like, if you're in a losing position, you can just go kamikaze, take your opponent's rook, and hope that you make your flash. Right. So right. The, the, I love that kind of concept that he was getting at, which I think Daniel liked as well. So, you know, so many creative ideas that came out of this. It's uh, kind of mind-blowing and just goes to show you what, what a promotion like this can do, um, not just sending somebody to the Bahamas, but also all the ideas that can turn into even better ideas.
Um, really beautiful. Was so excited to be um, doing this. Doing this. A, a, a game almost as crazy as Warren's picture there. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if we see Warren's face turn up as an emote on Twitch, at least at the Poker Stars channel. Yeah. That should be an emote for you guys. Um, that's um. I don't know Warren in person, so <laughs> I just thought that the, some of the headshots we got were were uh, were bananas. But all right. Speaking of bananas, we got one more hand and brain game to play. Yeah. Are you up for it, Liv? Daniel? Yes, absolutely. Do it. Why don't we switch teams? Okay. Why don't we switch teams for this last one? Guys versus girls. Me and Daniel uh, sure. versus Jen and Liv. All right. What do you think? I like it. Cool. I like it. I'd rather play with the guy who's better at cheating anyway. Now we have a team. <laughs> now we have a team, Daniel. Now we have team Daniel. <laughs> I'll just. Oh. <laughs> all right let's do this all right. all right hey i did not cheat all right i just i'm just, I'm just not very good at controlling my emotions and Liv, <laughs> Liv figured out the tells i mean she's you know it's magnus Barry over there so exactly <laughs> all right well let's do it we're gonna we're gonna switch up the uh the team uh the teams just for this last one here daniel i'm going to say pawn i'm gonna do a pawn then if you say so all right man pawn all right knight Knight. Bishop. Liv, you keep looking over like you're reading me, but I'm not on your team anymore. <laughs> Let's do pawn. We had this game before. This is what's known as a Rui Lopez opening, Liv. Look at me, <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> okay. All right, we looked at this. Um, all right, I'm going to say pawn. All right, I'll uh, let me get aggro because why not? It's fun. All right, let's see. Uh, pawn. Liv, I feel like you're taking this really seriously right now. <laughs> I, want, I want a perfect score. <laughs> Night. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, no. No, that's you. Yeah. Okay. Queen. <laughs> Queen. Night. 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 Right. Okay. All right, Queen. Bishop. Okay. I don't know how to, I can only say the piece, so I'm just trying to put enough emphasis on the right syllable. <laughs> Bishop. Yeah, yeah, I got you, Bishop. bro, I got you. We good, we good, we good, I think. <laughs> Okay, let's do king. Uh, king. Choices, Daniel. 
Yeah. Pawn. Bishop. Okay. Night. Bishop. Bishop. Dog's eating my table. This is a good game. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to say Bishop. Bishop? Bishop. Bishop. I've heard of it. <laughs> Jen, remember how Jen used to move those a lot? Yeah, she's all bishops. <laughs> then, when I wanted to move, then when I wanted to move a bishop, she's like, knight. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> bishop, huh? Bishop. He said bishop. He did say bishop, so we have to think about where we want that little bishy bishy bishop. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, really not. So just gonna take a guess. Nope. Yep. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> 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 Woo! I don't know, bro. <laughs> I, I really don't know. So I'm gonna do something not too crazy, maybe. All right, let's do rook. Say bishop again. I know you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. The these chess players move their bishops too much, but bishop again. <laughs> bishop. Okay, let's do rook. Jiggy here. All right, uh, queen. I'm not confident in either, so but it's too late. I can't. I can't take it back. Queen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he saw my face. He's like, "What?" Now you're reading me. <laughs> All right, Rook. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. So just, just take a breath. Speaking to myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Bishop. Okay. 
This game is amazing. So interesting. Okay, I'm going to do something. You said bishop, right? I'm going to do something crazier than I normally would because I don't really know where I'm going from here. I love but it. I have, a feeling, I love I have it. a feeling it might be something down the road that could help me, even though it doesn't right now. Oh. Wait, was that good or bad, Liv? A good scream or a bad scream? Uh, <laughs> Nobody knows yet. Uh, okay. Hmm, very interesting. Uh, I've missed something here. Okay. Pawn. Yeah, I screwed up something I didn't see, but I, that was, I knew it. We got some pressure. We got some pressure. No, it's, the game's fascinating still. So I said pawn, yeah. Okay, queen. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, queen, right? Rook. Remember, you have two rooks, Liv. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, he's so helpful when he, <laughs> he's so helpful when it's not uh, when he's not on your team, huh? <laughs> okay. Bishop. Oh, what did I just do? I just lost us the game, bro. Okay. It's okay, bro. It's okay, bro. Maybe we'll Damn. find a way out, bro. bro it's <laughs> over. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe we'll find a way out. Who knows? You never know. Oh, man. Well, let's start with Bishop. At least we know who the most valuable player on the team was. It wasn't me. So. <laughs> ben, what? Um, let's just start with Bishop. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Only one move, King. Yeah. Remember, it's just a check. Yeah. My coach always said, it's just a check until it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Still wild, guys. I like how you don't have any of your pieces on dark squares. Okay, pawn. Ooh, queen. King. Oh, hello, Moto. Oh, no, never mind. I thought I saw something, something. Maybe. Let's see what Jen's up to now. I, now I see it. Hey. What? Now I see it. I didn't say anything. Oh, oh I said king already, obviously. I know, but, but he's thinking about <laughs> of it. Course. But I see what you're up to, so I'm going to be very careful. Okay. Queen. Hmm. Take your time. Think about where we want her. Huh. 
Weird one. Queen? You sure you said queen, right? Queen. Yeah. I, I wish I could say more, but I can't. <laughs> That's it. All right. I think I have an idea then. Queen. Oh, I said queen. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I, I wasn't sure if you registered it yet. <laughs> oh yeah, because you didn't seem like you didn't seem like you had the look. Knight. I'm somebody who heard a move. Bishop. King. <laughs> and and Libbery finishes her day undefeated. Bishop. It seems. All right, we're in trouble. Um, yeah. <laughs> one might call it trouble. Some would just say it's just, you know, just a position we chose. So, uh, Rook. Bishop. It's not over till it's over, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, we saw that in game two, where Daniel Dan, Daniel played like Magnus, and we lost <laughs> until the mouse. I'm calling that a mouse slip. Rook H5. <laughs> hey, that was a screw up. Uh, Rook. Okay, no worries. Um, Knight. Okay, Rook. Knight. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Like, I was being all protective and stuff and forgot that that was a bad move. Knight. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Yeah, that was the... That was the <laughs> I don't think I want to win this one. All right, um, pawn. Pawn. Okay. Cool. Nice. <laughs> nice. No, it was, it. it was nice. Yeah. They had mate and one being threatened. That was the best. Exactly. <laughs> so now, that, now we're trying to find the quickest mate. I, I, I wasn't, uh, okay. I wasn't kidding. Actually. Okay, Rook. King. Rook. Remember, Liv, you have two rooks. <laughs> oh, At this point, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I know. Except time. What we are down a minute. Hmm. Um. Do, 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 do. What do you think, Daniel? No, I'm kidding. All right, uh, pawn. I was gonna hit the, the. I was gonna use the resign piece. Oh, okay. Right I was gonna say <laughs> pawn, right? Yeah. Uh, Bishop. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, Rook. Halen. Huh? Rook. Bishop. Pawn. Rook. You got rook, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm, pawn. Uh, 
All right, Rook. King. We're up on Rook. time, Daniel. Rook. Rook. It's a lot of Rook moves. Um, Rook. Uh, King. Rook. King. Rook. King. Hmm. We're gonna go get ourselves a trap pony. Sure. Um... Let's do night. Rook. Knight. Rook. Rook. Uh oh. Running out of squares, buddy. <laughs> King. King. Rook. Woo! Good game. All right. Well played. How, how many moves ago could we have checkmated? Was it like 12? <laughs> I feel like it was, right? No, you, <laughs> just... you played really well. You can. Oh, you played it. great. And, yeah. Uh, Daniel, your, your uh, sack with Bishop H6 was actually really fun and interesting. Right. Yeah. If we go to the move right after that, when I said queen... Um, I'm showing on the stream, going a little slow. I know where I should have went. I should have went in front of the rook, not in behind it. Yeah, what we wanted to do was go, if we go queen f5, it's actually not so easy, right? Because you're we're attacking the rook and threatening knight takes f6 check, which would lead to queen takes h7. So, so I've got to play rookie. We've got to play rookie six rookie here six, to defend right? both things. And then, I yeah. had, and then I had bishop f7, or I was going to say bishop. And that was my idea, was to get the queen to eight. So I actually didn't think it was that bad, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really, uh, I thought our position was very dangerous, but that's yeah. why I love that Liv just went for it and took the pawn. Yep. Because from my point of view, you guys are going to have a dangerous tack whether we take the pawn or not. So yep. why not just grab it and hope for the best? And it worked out. Well, uh, Liv Marie finishes the day undefeated. Daniel, I'm uh, I'm with you here. You know, team Team Daniel has some work to do. So we'll, yeah, we'll, well, hey, that's why I'm on chess.com every day, yeah. grinding. No, you got it. You got, I mean, you played a lot of great moves in the match, though. Especially that game. Game two, I thought, was pretty spectacular, where you showed some strategic um, talent, knowing, like, how to yank open the files and use the knight over the bishop. Yeah, and, so. uh, and uh, no, I, when I said Team Daniel, I was talking about our team here. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking <laughs> about our team, just so you know. Um, anyway, uh, no, but seriously, thank you both so much. This is, I mean, we have more viewers now than we started with people love it i mean they're uh, they're calling uh libbury magnus Barry, and and saying uh, it was uh, it was an unfair match you're a sandbagger Liv. you're better than you said you were so um the uh i did say i've been i've been playing a lot of blitz it's yeah. it's honestly chess has become a problem for me where yeah. like <laughs> if, I have, if i have work to do i and i'm like trying to write something and i have writer's block i just sit down and play a bunch of three minute blitz games um, very badly, but I, it's just like I can't leave. Yeah. Um, it's it's like it's a dark. I get into like a really dark place with chess, um, right. but I love it. Oh, but it's probably one of the best addictions you can have. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. Can you imagine? Like, yeah, it's it's it's, <laughs> it's like a very it's a very healthy uh, way to procrastinate in a dark way. That's what I love about it. No, and it it, it has. It's like taught. It's like given me a whole new mental skill that I just never had before. So that's why I love it. Well. Um... Thank you to everybody who's been here, especially uh, our mods, Chess Bay, and all those of you who helped make make these shows so great. Thank you to Poker Stars, uh, and of course, Liv and Daniel. We're we're looking forward to more potential chess and poker con collaborations. A shout out from your your friend Lawrence Trent, who uh, said he's been chatting with both of you on Twitter, wanted me to say hey. Um, 
He's, uh, he's chatting my ear off over here, so I had to say that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Jen, I don't have anything else to say. Congratulations one more time, of course, to our winner. For those of you who may have just tuned in, uh, we'll bring up a quick a quick uh, headshot that may have you fall out of your seat. Be careful. But uh, Warren, Warren Sheaves, jokes aside with the funny, scary face, he uh, designed an amazing game, and he takes home the $30,000 prize courtesy of Poker Stars. And uh, Jen, thanks for hosting such an amazing contest and bringing yeah, our, our two worlds sense. together here. This has been oh, great. Oh, God, it's, it's really a dream come true. So I'm so glad that you were all available. It's one of the craziest times in the chess and poker calendar, um, especially in chess. So thank you to all the viewers. Thank you to the 70 people who applied. And, you know, thanks to, to Melanie at Poker Stars and to everyone at chess.com for, for this. Uh, I can't wait for, for more hybrids. And you guys... Daniel and Liv have a lot of chess talent, so keep at it. While we have everybody, remind you one more time, go to masterclass.com. Check out Daniel Negreanu's masterclass. Just came out. It's pretty hot. Um, I need to check it out, both to learn how to control my poker face and maybe some, some other tips, too. Um, but uh, And uh, Liv, I don't have anything to shout out besides that you gave an amazing TED Talk, unless uh, you have anything you want to tell the fans that are here, that you can follow you on Twitter. You see both... Uh, yeah, yeah. Watch, yeah, seriously, yeah, my, my TED Talk, it it's brand new. It just came out on TED.com uh, like just last week. So, yeah, please go watch it. Uh, I'm trying to get it to a million views. So Do it. Like that. Yeah. Well, let's, it's fantastic. Uh, let's link, we'll link that TED Talk actually right now while we're, while we're here. And uh, anyway, thank you both again, um, everybody who's thank with us. Guys. Please, uh, please follow the Poker Stars channel as well. If you're watching at twitch.tv slash chess here, head over to twitch.tv slash poker stars and make sure you follow that too. So, Liv, Daniel, it's uh, it's been an honor, been my pleasure. This has been a ton of fun and maybe maybe some future chess and poker co collaborations, little hand and brain, I don't know. I, we, this is this yeah. is a lot of fun. Hey, maybe I a little more it. poker next time. Yeah, yeah. So that, they, they, that they can make fun of you. Yeah, we can, we can get some play money or get everybody in New Jersey. We'll, we'll work it out, but I'd like to see some some poker coming in next time as is well. That, is there a way we can be uh, the, the brains? brains guys? Yeah, yeah, we could be like guys. we could just say bet well, your check. Yeah, but whoever whoever like Jen is so good at poker like that. I don't know. We need so we need so I, I don't know how good you are, Danny. Uh, I, I'm poker. I'm not. I mean, Lawrence is honestly probably a better match for that kind of for that kind of format. It would be because he's more of the poker chess guy. I'm. I would have a blast and I could host it. If you guys all want to play, I can just sit here in the corner and have fun with you. But I, I don't think it yeah. would be fair to have me on anyone's team. I, I would be pretty bad at poker. But we'll, we'll hit you up with some ideas, Danny, because yeah. there's a lot there's a lot going on. And, hey, shout out to Chess Bay, who just posted your TED Talk in oh, the um, TwitchChess.com that, chat. That's the old one. Um, but, oh. yes, watch that one too. Thank you. Um, no, the, the new one is on my Twitter, if you just go to my Twitter. Okay. Um, but... I posted, a, I posted a link directly to the uh, to the TED uh, profile for you too. I don't know if that helps, and I'm gonna grab uh, yeah, Daniel's. Yeah, that'll that'll work. Grab All right, it. wonderful. Thanks, guys. Have a beautiful Sunday. I'm gonna run over to New Jersey to play the NJ Coop. Yeah. And so... <laughs> oh, good luck. <laughs> well, well, thank you both. Have a, have a good evening, afternoon, and and thank you again, everybody who's here. We will we'll see you around on Chess.com and Poker Stars, and until next time. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. See you later, y'all.